All right, oh, I think Trey. Yep. I think Trey could give me. Why 20 are we minutes starting with this? I, no one even <laughs> likes this <laughs> drop anymore. Yeah, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> no, no drop button. That shit is mad old. It's just a why dope you drop. Bring, why you bringing up old shit? It's just a dope drop. Welcome back. I'm looking to the future. You keep harping on this old shit. Welcome back, like we've been somewhere. Uh, the Joe Button Podcast, episode number 112, I believe. I'm done with the numbers. I try uh, to remember. Uh, 112. Listen, whatever. I think it's 112. One what one if it's numbers in your pocket? I remember when you... That's how I know we never did an episode 112. Because I would have 100% started singing 112 immediately. So this has to be episode uh, 100, uh, 112. Damn, 112 came out a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, it's over, man. What's over? It. Us. <laughs> Damn us. Yo, so let's start with the draft. Let's start with the draft. Luckily for you guys, the Joe Button Podcast had our expert analysis reporter on the scene. Oh, that's me? Yeah, nigga. Oh. I was watching your Insta snaps. I seen you. I seen you on the floor. Seen you close enough uh, to ref the game. You know what I mean? On no floor. Relax. Oh. You tripped the referee? No. I thought you referee. did. I thought you tweeted that. I should have tripped the fucking referee last night. It looked like the Wizards had it, man. Yeah. If it, it means like anything, it. I was rooting for the Wizards. I think, you know what's funny? I think a lot of people were, though. I think people wanted to see Cleveland, Washington. I told you last week you that did. You if did. the series goes long, you John did. Wall will be gassed. You did. He gave it all he had in game six. Yeah. Bill came up. He, he did what he had to do. You know, people laughed at me on Twitter. I thought that Melo on, on the Wizards is, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. I don't move, think it makes move sense. Move Porter to this, to, to this uh, bench. I think they like Kelly Uber as their future small forward. Mm-hmm. He should. I, I mean, I blame that game on a lot of things last night. I think uh, Brad, uh, Brad Stevens outcoached Scott Brooks. I think we that, knew that was going to happen. Yeah, Scott Brooks didn't utilize his bench enough. He didn't. I don't understand how he didn't play Kelly Oubre last night. I don't understand how he played Mahimi more than he played Jason Smith. They clearly needed a big that can move his feet and stay in front of Kelly Olenek. Uh, and, all right, you give me too much analysis on this old game. I don't care about that. Yeah. We back to the draft. The draft. The draft. The draft. The draft. The draft. I'm a Knicks fan, and Knicks got the eighth pick. Yeah, like we kind of figured around. Yeah, that. I'm not mad at that. My, I said seven. My, seven was my realistic guess. My worst fear was that they would fall in the 9-10 range. I would love to see the pick they would have got if they didn't win those last four out of the six games. I only know that because I've read it in the newspaper. I certainly stopped watching the Knicks a long time ago. I'm too invested as a fan. I'm too passionate. I can't do it. But I'm not mad at eight. Maul is a Laker fan. Rory, where does your sports... I'm a Knicks fan. Oh, yeah, you're, a Knicks fan you're a Knicks fan as well. So, Maul, let's yeah. let's deal with you because you were jumping up and down in front of the screen. You were screaming. Yeah. I yeah. think you punched me at one point. Yeah. Uh, you were pretty excited about— That punch had nothing to do with the, the lottery, but— Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you were pretty excited about the whole countdown magic. You know, he sent the bag in. Yeah, for sure. See, all right, conspiracy theorist Joe, and then mm-hmm. I'm going to throw it to our expert fucking reporter here. <laughs> the Lakers are in very good standing with the league. The honestly, Lakers, the Lakers are one honestly. of the teams that the league needs to. But I, but honestly, but Joe, come honestly, on. I feel that way about the Knicks too. Though I feel like the Knicks no, and the Lakers are no, one. No, no, no. Listen, no. I feel like the Knicks and the Lakers are the teams that the NBA need to be good teams. No, the, the Eastern Conference playoffs needs need the New York Knicks. I believe that. I really do believe that. More the Knicks ain't been in the playoffs. But yeah. that's but that's no. a problem. The, the NBA that's, has, has that's been a problem. Pushing forward without them. Yeah, they're doing just fine. <laughs> no, I think the mellow thing just blew up, you know, and and then filled with this triangle shit just blew up in their face. But I do think the NBA needs the New York Knicks. To it's still team. going. The this triangle. is this is what I think. <clears throat> um, I think that the NBA does have or should have higher interest in some of the bigger market teams, i.e., the Celtics, Lakers, <clears throat> Knicks, and Sixers. Right? Yeah. I also think that behind the scenes, Adam Silver does whatever he has to do to put basketball people in the right positions with these organizations, i.e. Jerry Colangelo in Philadelphia, uh, Phil Jackson in New York. Uh, That Lakers situation was a mess. They fixed that up. Uh, Ainge is great over there. So, I mean, you know what I mean? It just so happens the Knicks got stuck with the fucktard. The Knicks got stuck with the hard-headed, arrogant, egotistical uh, Zen master. No, the the only thing I think w- who's fucked also up, checked out. 
The only thing I think fucked up he's the Knicks. He's robbing us. He's, he's robbing us. I don't, think, I don't think he's robbing you because he's he made he invested. made good draft picks. I think I think what fucked up Phil Jackson was he made putting one that, one good draft pick. Yeah, let's but make him, that clear. Him putting that no trade clause in Melo's contract fucked the Knicks up. He gave it to him. Yeah, that that but that's the one move that I think fucked everything up. He gave it to him and he courted him. Yeah. So now the but way, anybody would I mean at that time Melo was you know. You would court Melo if the you way were GM you're, too. Not if you felt the way that Phil Jackson says he has always felt about about uh, Carmelo. Now those old statements that Phil Jackson made about Carmelo when he was still a member of the Denver Nuggets have to come back, come back to light here. When he they weren't such uh, such favoring comments that he made about him in his game. Was it his book? I don't remember when it was, but they had to they had to fix that up before Melo even you know before yeah. uh, they had to fix that. Yeah, you realize Melo has not beaten the Nuggets since he got traded from. Him? The Damn, Knicks have not beat the wild. Nuggets since he's he he got traded from the Nuggets. Not one time. You're trying to make me sad. No, I'm just that's a crazy stat though. That's re- that's crazy. That's crazy. I just can't see how you would waste a Hall of Famer in his peak. They didn't do shit. If there are yeah. any ladies listening, I promise we're going to be done with the draft talk soon. But I do know a lot of hoes and thoughts listen to our podcast as well. And yeah. I know a lot of y'all hoes and thoughts don't really recognize the names we saying, but on draft night y'all going to be out. Yeah. So technically, yeah. you, yeah, should good, you, you should be listening. You should be listening. You should be listening. Yeah, honestly. And I have an interesting theory about the Celtics. You're not oh, yeah. a fan of it. Oh but, yeah. Oh yeah. This is great. Yeah. This is great. This is conspiracy theory mall for the first time. I want to hear it. I think that the Celtics are going to let it walk. I don't think they're going to pay a five seven guard almost two hundred million dollars. I believe it. That's, I believe the, that's the hot take horn. I believe they're gonna draft fault. They're gonna draft a point guard. Is Maul fucking nuts? I'm telling you. They're oh, not I, letting I, him go. I, okay. All right, so I, or earlier you said you think they're gonna let him go. They're gonna bring in Gordon Hayward and they're gonna mm-hmm. draft Fultz. Mm-hmm. Roy, what do you think about this? I don't want I I kind of respect Maul's basketball knowledge sometimes. Joe, listen though. You can't draft a point guard with the number one pick and make him a bench guy. You're not going to bring him off the bench. You're not drafting a point guard with the number one pick to bring him off the bench. That's that's not happening. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. Why? Because why would you why would you draft a point guard? You might as well go after an area you need. The, you the draft, Celtics don't need draft, guards. You draft the best player available. I would draft the best big available. Which is who? Probably Tatum. Tatum plays the what? Three. Three, four. They don't need a three or a four. Why I mean, they're going to go after Gordon Hayward. So they, they do need a three. Why can't they draft Fultz and then end up trading him and keep Isaiah Thomas? I, I, why would I you give up one of the best players in the league They right can't now? score a bucket without him. <laughs> Bring in Gordon Hayward. And you want to you want to trade that and put all your chips in this unproven, I, I get it, stud sensation. Okay, so let me say this. Fultz. If they draft Fultz, let me just say that. If they draft a point guard, they don't, they don't plan on – have an IT. Man, the first for, the wide. first sixteen teams are drafting point guards. <laughs> yeah, but but that's my thing. So what are you gonna do? You gonna just have him sitting on the bench? You gonna take your number one pick and have him sitting on the bench? You're not just letting the guy walk that score thirty a game since February. But it's a business. You got to think long term. You understand? So Isaiah you, Thomas is would, how old? He'll be 29? nine. Thirty? All right, none of these niggas are paying me, so I don't care this much. But I'm I, just saying that's just not. If they draft Fultz, they I don't think they have long term plans for IT. I don't. I don't is it a so. given that Gordon Hayward is going there? I think it's almost a, a given. He's definitely leaving Utah, and I think, you know, I think him and Ainge are kind of, you know, on the same page. Somehow on Mother's Day, I ended up in Bounce in NYC, and I bumped into uh, CJ McCullough and some of his friends. Uh, shout out to him, friend of the show. Uh, let me see if I can get a round of applause for CJ. Man. Good guy. Great player. Anyway, great player. Yeah. So then he started lying to me, lying to me to my face. I started telling him he should come to the Knicks. He said, yeah, man, good organization. Let's come. Come on, come on, come on, come <laughs> oh, on. He gave on, you the political Come on, come, nah, on, get, come, on, come on, come on, come on. He's already starting his politics. No, nah, no. Nah, I like him already. Nah, but uh, we yeah, did. Portland it. just gave him a bag though. Like he ain't going nowhere. He got the bag. <clears throat> yeah, he got a bag. I'm going to invite him to the pool party. Mm, yeah, you should. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta watch these athlete niggas, man. <laughs> You ain't learned a lesson yet. Me? We haven't seen enough of these stories. <laughs> it's not going to stop. Oh, wait. I forgot. Yo, the week feels so long. 
Oh, we never it even did touched. Like a long week. Yeah, it's been a long week. Show. It's been a long week. All right, so let's get let's get off of that. Uh, let's let's get off of that, and we'll revisit that when we start finding out what team's going to do. Good luck to the Knicks. Good luck to the Lakers. Wait, who do you want the Lakers to take? If we're going to go after God, I want Dennis Smith Jr. With the number with the number two, two pick? pick. Yeah, I think that's where I think the Knicks are going to end up with him. I'm just saying, I, if the Lakers, eight. I don't want Lonzo Ball. <laughs> They're taking Lonzo Ball. I, think I, I either want Dennis Smith Jr. or Josh He is Jackson. a Laker. Josh Jackson. Ball is a Laker. I think the Knicks are stupid enough to take some foreign kid. They got the, they got their eyes on that French dude. Yeah, fr- I think y'all going to get Malik Monk. Nikolai French. Oh, I'll be very happy. Yeah, I, I think, think Smith Jr. I don't think Malik Monk stays on that fall. board at number eight. De- Dennis Smith Jr., I don't, they have him going eighth right now. I mean, he's not going to go that far down. Especially if he goes to the camp. If he works out, he's not going that far down. Malik Monk is not dropping that far. No, I don't think. I don't think so. Either. All right, so we'll we'll find out. We'll revisit this now. What what is what is pertinent now? Are we all tired of the L.A. Reid story? I know I've been adamant <laughs> in it, and I've spoken with with lots of. Yo, conviction. there's a creepy thing going on with this show, man. Like we talk about <laughs> shit on here, man, and yeah. it, it comes to fruition. And I'm like, man, what the fuck is I, going but, on? And that L.A. Reid shit that Joe was talking about came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, it's man. It's not even like he was in the news. Joe just wanted to hate someone. I don't even think Joe hates L.A. Reid. You know, I doesn't. just think he needs to find someone to dislike. Yeah, no, that's, that's my not theory. true. That's not true. Y'all know that my brain is multi-layered. Y'all know I'm God. obsessive. You know I'm a deep thinker. AKA you're crazy. It's bad. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I However put, you want to put this. I put <laughs> you're LA Reed. I thought I've explained this where why why I'm so adamant you know, in my position, fam. You made a lot of sense with it though. But again, yeah, it's the way you I get, say I things. Get, I understand in my tone. Yeah, it's the way you say my things. My delivery. Yeah, I get absolutely. that part. Absolutely. Once all you suck ass niggas get past that, mm-hmm. the the <laughs> message be loud and clear. I agree. Now I never now I never would have correlated him losing money everywhere he went to Hiring strippers and hoes on on the company dime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a regular. And I'm not kind of mad at that. Right. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. But you, but no, you can't do that. And you can't do that. And be in charge of the bags. See, because this is the problem. You're in charge of everybody's bag. Where You're in charge of the company bag. Right. No, no one has challenged you on this information. You're getting that he's lost money at every place. You just keep saying, "Look it up." Where do I look it up? Where do I see that L.A. Reid lost money at every place he went to? Tell me why Arista Records no longer exists. Because I can tell you. Because they signed shitty artists in no, the, their true. last few years. That's not true. That's not true. They signed great artists. They did nothing with them. Okay, Def Jam's still uh, afloat with artists that L.A. was behind and pushing and signed. Let's talk about it. Uh, Rihanna? Young Jeezy? Oh, stop, 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 stop. L.A. Reid had zero to do with Rihanna coming to Def Jam. Okay, sign, Zero sign, to do signing, with yes, sign, to signing, you're right. Do that. But Don't developing do that. her into the pop I was star on Def Jam now. when Rihanna got to Def Jam. LAV didn't have a fucking thing to do with Rihanna <laughs> coming to Def Jam. Okay, I, I'm just saying. All right, so fuck the signing. No, no, no. Fuck the signing part. Let's stay at Rihanna. Making her into a pop star. Okay. LA Reed all day. Okay, I'm rolling. Not, not really, but I'm, I'm with you. You have to give him some credit because he was there during yeah, the yeah. tenure. You give him some credit. He was, there, sure. he was there during the tenure, but he had he had zero. He had zero. He didn't steer no. Wait, hold up. When SOS, because I remember they tried to give one of those records to Christina Milian. I don't, that wasn't LA. LA Reed was not there during SOS. LA Reed was not there for Umbrella. So when you say that he broke Rihanna, I'm not rolling with that. See, now, here's, did he here's the thing. Did, ahead, add ahead. to her career? I'm, I'm rolling. I mean, he was there. And uh, he's a genius in R&B. I'm not hating I that. I think with Umbrella, of course, that, that pushed her to becoming a pop star. But her, her developing into Rihanna, not just a pop star like Rihanna has that separation where she has that Madonna shit like that happened mm-hmm. when LA was steering the ship of course uh, I won't Hove, argue that Hove signed Rihanna etc cetera, etc cetera. Umbrella was a big record it put her in the charts that didn't make Rihanna I Umbrella won't. good girl going bad did not make Rihanna no need to I'm not rated R this. made Rihanna to me and that was LA Reid all day I won't argue against LA Reid but Joe's dis- his, 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 his beef wasn't it with R&B with L.A. Reid I think it was more No, so no, hip-hop. no we, we, well, I don't know if we had the that, Yeah, that, that is where My no, ultimate me, problem lie But Rory just Rory made his point He said nobody has challenged me He wants to challenge me Rory used to work for L.A. Reid I forgot all about that And don't know too much about that I mm-hmm. just know about my experience With him mm-hmm. And that's what I base it on So my experience with him And being there for that whole switch Every so, every so often The entire industry does A whole shift 
So that was a big, big deal when Kevin and Lior upped and that they the whole industry played musical chairs. Warner, mm-hmm. Universal, yep. like that was the news. Yeah. So when LA got there to go from golden era Def Jam, Def Jam, mm-hmm. Def Jam, mm-hmm. to LA who just was fired, who just was the shit talk of the industry. Mm-hmm. Everybody in music, his name was Mud. Right. And he came. And he came. And we was a little worried about that. Mm-hmm. We was a little nervous there. Mm-hmm. Which is why they said, okay, he got to hire a hip-hop guy. He got to hire Hov. But anyway, my point is to go from Lior to L.A. is such a drastic change. And those changes implemented in the staple of hip-hop. Okay. Granted, I agree Did a with lot. you there. I agree with you there. But you have to look at where hip-hop was at the time. And in my opinion, L.A. Reid might have been the better guy there. Because it wasn't the golden age anymore. It's not like L- uh, Lior and L.A. switched and hip-hop switched. Hip-hop was switching already. No. Yes, it was. No. What, what year did LA get there? That was 05, 06? 05, 06. 05 might have been one of the biggest changed years in hip-hop history. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> that might have been the biggest transition. 05 might have been the biggest transition from our typical uh, East Coast shit that we loved to the South and the Snap movement. It, it Music changed significantly yeah. in 05. And okay. I, I think it was... Okay, that's a, that's a good point. I'm rolling. And I think L.A., with which Universal was just doing in general, you have to put that in this factor as well. They had signed Justin Bieber. A lot of Def Jam artists were going to Island. Tayo Cruz was keeping the fucking lights on at Universal. Hip-hop wasn't doing it. Neo was popping at the time. They needed a guy that was more versed in R&B, not just hip-hop. Which is perfectly fine until that gentleman starts calling the shots on the hip-hop side. Right. Yeah, I well, think that's what well, I think. Was. I think, but no, no, you got to take. I mean, he he tried to hire people at the time. Well, that that were hip hop. on God bless yes. his soul was amazing. Yeah. Um. Somebody else was real amazing. I will say that he had some amazing. They people. had right, so when he had that with Shakir, then obviously he wasn't the the hip hop hip hop guy. He got Lenny S. He got Shaw Money. He was trying to grab people that he knew that hip hop was his Achilles heel there. Even though he had Outkast and fucking brought all of the Dungeon family to fruition. We'll just leave that to the side. He knew that. So he hired people that knew hip hop. He was a good leader at the time. It, it just didn't pan out very well just because I think music in general didn't in pan out In well. three different places? I'm just talking about See, Def Jam right now. Okay, so let's stay on Def Jam. So now you get to Def, Def Jam, you change the entire business model, and underneath all to. of this, Music was changing. You there change. lie allegations of sexual misconduct. Don't, don't even want to talk about that. Why? Because we're talking Why? about his legacy in music. <laughs> I'm No, that's what you're talking about. I'm talking about my experience with L.A. Reid. Oh, well, the want to information talk about his, his that I have shit. received from L.A. Reid. Why I view L.A. Reid to like I talk about him, and it's very un, unlike you and the rest of the people that speak to his legacy. His leg, legacy is cemented in music. It's amazing. We never got to talk about LaFace. There's nothing to argue. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to even debate. Well, no, you also said off air to me that you were you were saying this not just with rap, with music, period. And I looked at you nuts. No, I've never said that I in think- my life. I've never said that in my life. Okay. I've never said in my life right, music, I'm period. I'm lying. Then. But did you just snitch? No. <laughs> you said he said off air to me, and then you said something. well, yeah, I mean, he didn't say it on air. Snitching. That snitching now? Yeah, I mean, you said it said it was said off air. You brought and it, and then on you air. brought it on air. Damn. Mm. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> Listen, man. Mm. <laughs> yep. I mean, give me twenty minutes. Uh, I, now we have no. to get the trade <laughs> shit. Yeah, <laughs> we got to. Yeah, we got to get the fucking right. shit, man. Oh my Jeez. god, this is terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> anyway, so uh, <laughs> what were we talking about just now? Oh, L.A. Reid. All right, yeah. so let's not touch that. But my experience there is you took the go- a staple, you fucking put that shit in a blender, some other shit came out, a lot of people lost their jobs, I watched people that I love just be unemployed, he drove that building to shit, and they shipped his ass out of there too. <laughs> mm. Yeah. They shipped him the fuck out. <laughs> so when I go sit down in front of L.A. Reid, and me just being passionate about hip-hop, and he starts giving me the spiel about how all of these Def Jam acts and songs have too many words in them. <laughs> I feel a way about it. I do. I do. I well, do. It was. It was the t- again. I do. It was. 
I don't care. It was five. It was too wordy. Not me. Okay. He named us. It was a slew, and I won't get into it. But there were a lot of Def Jam acts, and you know what? You reap what you sow because at the time, uh, the knock on on Lyles and these niggas was, oh y'all just keep giving deals to all the old niggas. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like y'all gonna give fucking like LL will always have a deal here. Like Meth will always have a deal here. Like well, they certain sh- niggas they would should, always though. have. <laughs> I think so. They should. But I think so. But I do understand business. the business side yeah. of it. When you're yeah. on the decline or you're on the downside of your career, no offense to anybody, I understand it. <clears throat> um, so that was the knock there. So I'm all with new blood and and doing things a different way. But that twist and now to see where where he is and what he is attached to. No, no. I don't credit L.A. for Khaled. I don't. Well, I credit Khaled for Khaled. But having someone steering the ship, so my point is, so my, that actually make the deal go through. Khaled can't sign a deal himself. It takes two people. So my point so is. So recognizing that and recognizing Travis and Future to bring. Wait, no. Because Epic was, Epic was shit before he got there. Khaled was with him on, on, on Def Jam. I know. He just brought the whole crew over there when they shipped his ass out. Yeah, because they liked him. No, because he fucking funnels the money to his niggas. <laughs> I'm, sorry, <laughs> I'm, sorry, they... I'm sorry, what exec doesn't do that? No, there's nothing. Everyone in the world was at Atlanta. Donald Trump is doing it right now, Rory, but my point is you, <laughs> have, York, Kevin, you have to be able to do that. Kaiser, you Julie, have to be able, Todd, we're all there. Still, <laughs> but you have to be able to do that and meet the quota. Everybody you just named. I'm still wondering where you get info. You just me, saying it. You haven't proven it yet. You keep saying look uh, it up. Where do I look wait, it up? Wait, time out, time out. What is he saying that I'm not proving? <laughs> that he, that he lost, lost money, money, money everywhere he went. What? Okay. You can Google why he is not at Def Jam. You can Google why he is not at Arista. And you can Google what is happening email, in Epic right now. Email me Future is the flagship artist at Epic right this second. He just started selling records a second ago. He's been the flagship there forever. Stop telling me about Epic and L.A. Reid's fucking greatness. Stop. I, I don't think he's the flagship. Epic is Sony. That's a big label. There's a lot of other people other than Future on Sony. What other rap acts? You talking about I, I looked I'm them up. I looked them up. I looked them up. General. I looked them up. No, I'm talking about hip hop. I'm talking All right, well, about rap. Say, say hip hop because you didn't. I'm say I'm only hip-hop. talking about hip hop <laughs> yeah, with LA. What, what is? What I what know that's your man, no, Rory, but you got to well, start making. All, LA, LA is not my you man. You got to start making. LA is not one. one LA is I'm not my only man. talking about hip hop. <laughs> you was not when we originally had this conversation. So now you're saying it's hip hop. That's not true. You said you saying Rory shit. You always say you said I'm gonna try to argue it. Okay. All right. And I said you're gonna lose. I was there. And you yeah, said, and you didn't I say hip hop. You didn't I was say hip hop. <laughs> and then he told me he was there. And I said, okay, I didn't well, know no. that. But I'm only talking about my experience. Okay. That's it. Nothing wrong. I mean, more will be revealed. You got to give time, time. we watching it unfold. <laughs> That's all. Uh, what do you give good music to? Strictly Kanye? Or you think LA had anything to do that? I don't give any of that to LA Reid. Why do you give it to Ellie Reed? Because he was uh, the head of the company when it was created. <laughs> all right. Rory's nuts. Rory's I'm not, nuts. No, I'm not nuts because yeah, you get... Yeah, though. Rory, all right, all right, okay. Yeah, do you, Rory do you give, you give, you give Leo a Rockefeller? You give Leo a Rockefeller? No. no. Oh, well, then there's a plenty of things execs give, don't deserve giving, credit for. Why am I giving Leo a Rockefeller? Tell me. He was the head of the company at the time. He had a lot to do with that deal and what this they were doing. This is a conversation, unfortunately, we cannot touch. That would be the only time I ever say this on, on this podcast. This one right here that you're trying to lead me to is the only one we cannot touch. So I'm not touching it. But I'm not I'm, giving I'm Rockefeller is- to Lior, and I'm not giving good music to fucking L.A. I don't know what... All right, Rory's got infinity for L.A. No, I don't. We're just is having a conversation. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just talking about the other side. So you think because he was just there that he had no? I, get credit I'm saying for it. if all the other execs are getting the credit for all these amazing clicks and acts while they were the head of the label, why does LA not get the same luxury? But you're the person that said that. I never am crediting Lee or <laughs> Cohen for Rockefeller or Murder Inc. or Rough Riders. Well, that was <laughs> that is what made his era at Def Jam so amazing. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. Then you got Leor fucked up. I don't. Have, well, first of all, I don't have Leor fucked up, but I that, credit of course, a lot of added to his shit. But I don't then think what's, then what's his nobody, legacy nobody is, is is saying that Leor curated these clicks. No, I'm not. Well, first of all, I'm not saying that. But he put what? them on a label together. <laughs> 
I give Leo credit because Leo mm-hmm. was a forward thinker. So at the time, he was the only person brave enough to take on entire companies and wear it. So I give him that. That's why he's a genius. He put that faith in niggas when it was taboo to do in music. Mm-hmm. So I give him that. But Leo is greatness. I can speak to that all day. I don't want to get into that. L.A., I'm not giving him good music. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What else you want to get this nigga? Young, uh, <laughs> God young, damn it. Young Jeezy. What? Music. I'm finished with this conversation. Shakir brought him to L.A. and L- L.A. signed him. What are you talking about? I'm finished with this All right, so <laughs> then we're not giving any executive any credit ever. <laughs> if, if, that's the, if that's the narrative you want to go with, we can't give any executive credit at all for anything that happens on a label. If you're leading the company and that's happening under you and you're approving everything on yes or no, you get credit for it. I give Lior credit for Rockefeller. I give L.A. Reid credit for Young Jeezy. Shakur brought, brought him, Shakir brought him and said, yo, this guy is nice. L.A., yes, let's do it. Launch Jeezy's career. Rap music. I have a totally different recollection of that entire chain of events that Rory speaks of. All right. What are these chains of events you speak of, Rory? <laughs> I don't remember that happening like that at all. I mean, I get it, but I don't. It's a lot of. L.A. Reid ain't have a fucking thing to do with Def Jam when, and then what was in the streets popping? He was nowhere near Def Jam when that record came out. Google, Why are Google we crediting L.A. Reid? Google is our friend. All right. Google is our friend. All right. In May 2004, Jazzy Fuzz manager. Uh, sent Jeezy's demo to Shakir, vice president and artist, uh, uh, A&R at Def Jam. Stewart fell in love with the demo, heard it, took it to L.A. Reid. Reid recognized the talent and gave Stewart the green light to sign it. Jeezy was on Def Jam. Jeezy is a layover artist. When L.A. got there, Jeezy was there. That paperwork was in, mm. in happening. Mm. Uh, and even... That. I don't know about all that. Let's Google when that rec- uh, when and then what hit the streets. Rory giving L.A. a lot of credit that no, he don't deserve. I'm just arguing the other side. What other side? I wish... No, I that, that L.A. gets, like, some credit here. It just in, in you music... Giving, you giving L.A. All right, let's say that you're right. Because we ain't got time to Google. You giving L.A. credit for Shakir's greatness? No. Well, recognizing... Hiring someone so great... It, to then bring Jeezy to him, yeah. Which would be great. That's if, what a leader does. He that, hires people that are talented to that then bring him the talent. That makes sense, Rory, if you're meeting the overhead. If you're meeting the overhead I and you're meeting don't. the quota, then you're right. Well, if, he had just if you're doing all of 05. these amazing things and you are hitting your mark quarterly. This is 05, so we wouldn't know at that point. It was his first year. I wish I could toss it to the desk right now. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> Yo, uh, how I wish I could just uh, toss it to the desk. All right, so right now that I'm done uh, trying to make you understand that LA deserves some credit, I will say LA's legacy at Def Jam in a negative way was he's the reason why Def Jam has no longer had any artist development. They only know how to market stars because that's what LA was amazing at was marketing stars, spending money. You mean so? Well, yeah, spending it's, money, it takes a lot you mean? Of money to do spending that. money. Um, he knows how to spend a lot of money. I me think, too. I think Big Sean. Yeah, me too. I don't know how much of a genius you got to be to spend a lot of fucking money for a long time. Big, Big Sean did that all on his fucking own. They didn't give a fuck about Big Sean, and then all of a sudden, his shit popped, and they're like, "All right, well, let's do Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay." <laughs> but now, nah, there's no artist development over there, and I think LA was a big part of that. But I just also think that's where music was at the time. It was hard for labels to do artist development. They only knew how to spend money. But that was everyone. I don't think that was just L.A. Spending money was the music business. Leor yes, and Kevin please. did it. Everyone did it. They spent a shit ton of money. But Kevin and Leor adapted much better to it and found new ways, which makes them great. I promise the listeners that for the next, let's say for the next few months, I refrain from speaking on L.A. Reid. I've said my piece. <laughs> I'm, I'm on to the next. On to the next. I don't know who the next is, but I'm on to the next. What is the next? How was Mother's Day? We didn't even get to Mother's Day. Shout to all the mothers out there, by the yeah. way. I love Shout all of you. Yeah. Mine was good. I, I like Shout uh, to my mom. Love you, mom. I think my new tradition is going to be celebrating Mother's Day the day before or the day after when everyone else yeah, is doing I, it. Yeah, the day of is always hectic. Yeah, I'm never celebrating Mother's Rory, Day on Mother's Day. Rory sent an sent interesting... Oh, I was uh, going to get to that. <laughs> get to what? So I take my mother out for uh, this for is dinner funny. on Mother's Day. 
naturally. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's a friend of the show. She listens to the podcast. Mom, right, hi, of the Rory's show. mom. Hi, Rory's mom. Uh, loves you both and had a question about mole. And I said, great. I love mole. I love questions. Be I love quest- mole and being, I love questions. Be inquisitive about my friends. <clears throat> she said, is mole gay? <laughs> Moms love that question. <laughs> so naturally, uh, knowing mole is not gay. I was like, no. Why do you think that? Well, every time you guys bring up, you know, women, he gets like uncomfortable in dating women. He's never done that before, mm. which is kind of a sign. What I mean, f- wait, mm. mind you, on, mind you. And then I'm sitting what is the moom about? What is that? <laughs> what is the moom about? I, I don't know. I can't. Mm. No, nigga. You don't know <laughs> when you, somebody's alluding to why I'm, they think I might be gay. No, nigga, no, no. Fuck no, out no. Of no, I'm not. I'm not. Mm, nah, I know you're not gay. I've seen <clears> you do some legendary shit. Come on, come on, come on, come oh, on. Relax, yeah. relax, <laughs> relax. Oh, who's relax. snitching that? Oh. Relax, man. Relax. Relax. Yo, are you coming to the pool party? Relax. Relax. All right, relax. Are you coming to the pool party? Maybe. Relax, my nigga. Oh, man. So I. I did progress. progress. Dog. Relax, my nigga. Who Relax. Really had Mendeecey's heart? How did Yandy and Erica end up with some relax. only 10 months of Why is relax so support? funny? This nigga never want to relax. But you <laughs> never relax. When I, when I say relax. I already be relaxed nah, already. Nah, you ain't relaxed. All right, Roy. Back to Roy, man. And then uh, I'm trying to explain to her that you are not gay. And right. then she just gets in... To the other mode of well, I don't care if he's gay. Like if that's your friend, I don't care if he's gay. That's the funny part. I know he's not gay. Well, it's okay if he is gay. It's like you know, (laughs) no, mom, I'm not gay. (laughs) Promise, I'm not. Rory's mom, Maul is not gay. Nothing against gay people, but no. I was umming because outside of the conclusion of her her uh, assessment, she might have read you pretty good, man. No, it's just you know what it is, y'all. You haven't had a relationship had, in a long time. I had a relationship, not one had, that you'll had, tell people about. I had a relationship, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> Did she people hurt you? people get that because you just put so much emphasis on that. You haven't had a girlfriend, mall in like 22 <laughs> years. <laughs> we've That's only, not true. We've only been with each other for the past I, <laughs> man, I've, what, I've had a mad years. When you move music, fucking three came out. <laughs> I've had a girlfriend. That was like man. fucking 11 years ago. Nah, Duke. What? I haven't had a girlfriend. No, I have. Which is why Rory's mom is fucking, you know what I mean? No, I've had a girlfriend. <laughs> All right, man. I'm and good. I've definitely had relationships. Maybe not girlfriend. I don't care. As long as you come to the pool party, I'm straight. <laughs> Shut up, man. This nigga here, man. You always want some bullshit to start. Uh, yo, no, bullshit is happening at the pool party. Yeah, I think it might have to. <laughs> <laughs> I think bullshit might have to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of pool party, I'm here to lay down the rules and the etiquette of pool parties. This pool party etiquette. Oh, I'm and happy I think, about this. I think we should get this. We should put this in the air now. Oh, it's we're about, a, we're about a month out. You know what I'm saying? We need to put this out now. I like yeah, it. Yeah, actually, tomorrow will be a, exactly a month out. Right. So oh, when you're hearing idea. this, we're a month out. Right. Number one, people have to remember, if you're not invited, do not show up. Even if you think you're Do invited. people really listen to that? No. This is why we're putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I don't care if we follow each other. I don't care if we've had conversations. If I didn't invite you, don't show up saying, yo, Maul said, because Maul ain't said nothing. Yeah. That's I, a fact. Also, I've, we have a list going. There will be no plus ones. Your actual yeah, name plus has one to turns be into on something else. Shit. Yeah, and if you are a plus one for some weird reason, away from this, you don't get a plus one. Away plus from this, we all have to sit down and look look at each other's list of invites because I feel like there's some overlapping. <laughs> there might be some overlapping. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there may be some overlapping between some, who? Someone might invite between Erica and someone every, might invite Yandy. Everybody yeah. in the clique is fucking wiped up. No, but I'm I'm not. That doesn't matter. I'm talking about there still might be some overlapping in invites as well. Except for oh no no no. I have already told niggas. Because, like, you might invite somebody that I'm kind of like, eh, I don't fuck with that nigga. Who am I inviting? I'm, I'm just, I don't know. With. That's why we got to sit down and look at lists. Who you don't fuck with? That's a few niggas I don't fuck with. You know that. Damn, since when? I don't fuck with niggas, I, man. Nah, I th- the more I know is cool with everybody. No, I'm cool. It ain't beef. I just, I just don't want to be around niggas at a pool party. I ain't, I ain't trying to have fake conversations and fake what's up. So. You're not trying to snap with them? Nah. Oh, no, I don't want none of that. Well, tell me so I could be mad at them, too. This is why we have to have conversations away <laughs> I'm, from I'm the that, show. I'm that kind of friend. No, I'm saying, but yeah, but that's, what, that's why we're going to have conversations <laughs> no, away from the show. Ain't. Yes, you know I mean? am. No, the fuck you ain't. Yes, I am. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at Rory. <laughs> oh, man. Hold up, man. Where's my fucking... Jo- Rory sounds like he got some salt. What happened? Oh, now we got some podcast. 
<laughs> on this train. <laughs> We gotta wait till after the party. Did you, wait till, did you hit me with the off air? Oh, off see, air. hit the off yeah. air button. Yo, off Rory air. Is crazy, you know, man. Air. You hit the off air button. Rory, Rory, is, Rory is a wild Not dude, Joe, man. Joe Lucy. Bro, you seem like you might have a little bit of beef out there in the streets, though. I got a little bit. Yeah, I know. I, I got tell. a little bit. That's but see, but that's my point with Rory. I don't have beef. I just don't. That's my that's my only point with Rory. I can't I can't speak for Rory and his fucking anger management Irish Henny Palooza ways when I'm not around. Right. I can only say that I've heard enough stories from enough people to make my own conclusions about Rory and his Irish and he blues the ways when he's out of town. Okay. So what do you want really? me to do? Yeah. What, what bad ways have I done Rory. with my anger? Oh, we can talk about that on air. What have oh. I done with my anger? Oh, come on. Is this Rory. a case? It sounds like a fucking case. <laughs> this is a story like a case. that will go down in the love and hip hop I mind my business. Books. I don't but get in anybody's way. Mm. What? Is a lot. Oh, what Rory. is a lot? Yo, listen, and we're not doing. If, if ladies, if females got them little lap dogs, don't bring your fucking lap dog to the pool party, yo. Okay, now let's deal with that. We're not doing lap dogs. <laughs> lap dogs. Because I will gladly throw that shit to Brooklyn no, and let Brooklyn, him have I'm a ball. With it. Brooklyn eat that let's shit. deal with that. I have hired 15 security guards, <clears throat> off duty officers, and vehicles. Brooklyn, Kenzo. <laughs> <laughs> Harlem pussy, uh, but I'm sure it'll be some other dangerous shit around. We ain't with the shits, man. If you're not invited, just don't come. I don't care if you're cool with Maul. I don't. <laughs> Damn, see, why well, I gotta be me <laughs> off the Because I, I know you the nigga that they're gonna try and get the little nah, in with. That's why I put that out there. Because yeah, you played nah. three on three one day with some nigga uh-huh. somewhere. <laughs> First not, of all, I'm nigga playing rolling. three on three is crazy right now. <laughs> What's wrong with three on three? Some niggas ain't playing three on three no more, man. Yo, Maul is so Hollywood, man. Three on three? You think if a nigga called me right next to me, let's go play three on three, I'm going to be like, bet? Maul, you know what? the fuck out of here. Maul, you know what's funny about Maul? What's funny about Maul? Let me tell you what's funny about Maul. Okay, let's hear it. The last time that I saw Maul on the court. It was how long ago? Years. Yes, it was years. So you know I'm not playing three on three with nobody. But it was a two man, and we was in the park. And homeboy fucking Jade your fucking face shad. Oh, are we going to talk about that? Shad. Because I forgot homeboy name when we was. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, listen, if we talking about hooping, when we was at the park, what was his name? Romello? Romeo? We going to call him Romeo. I think it was uh, Dog, this nigga was it shooting It was Romello Romello anyone, This nigga was anyone shooting Anyone named Romello Is good at basketball No, no, no But you don't understand He was shooting jumpers And calling it good Before it even went in And then He wasn't even He was Steph Curry Before Steph Curry He no, was turning no away yelled, Running down the no other end of the court Before it went After the first three We was trying to But you know Joe got that <laughs> was, I got him I got him He was, he I'm was like, Joe, 49 nigga, this, years this, old I don't care how old he was That nigga was Jaying your face off he no, had, he had Romello had a good game. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. Because he was, was hot that day. Romello had a good Listen, game that day. He's like, that's good. That shit was ten feet in the air still. I'm like, my nigga, dog, Joe, switch, <laughs> switch. The court saying that's good. Switch, Joe. Like, nah, I got him. Switch. I got him. All right, nigga, we down. <laughs> we down six. <laughs> like, game is ten. Yeah, Scored the last eight. Yeah, I'm like, dog, let's switch. Nah, I got him. No. I'm like, all right, man. Romello had a good game that day. <laughs> he, had, he had a hell of a he game did. that day. I ain't oh, never seen his ass in the park since, though. He, that's it. I would have walked off like that too. I want that to be my last that's performance. Says, like Kobe. Yeah, I bust Joe Button ass. I'm out. <laughs> that's funny. I'm never though. picking up a ball again. Yeah, but you got a few of those stories. Yeah. Mike Thug put you on. Mm. He ain't put me on skates. We ain't gonna talk that's about all this right name. now. We're gonna get off of basketball. I don't even know how we stayed on basketball this long. We were talking about, we the, talking pool about the pool party. We can get back to oh, that. Oh shit, more rules to the pool party. Um <sighs> Should I say it? <laughs> I, I got a lot of rules Go ahead yeah, Hey listen ladies We not doing uh, You know Not getting the pool Just to stand around And look cute thing And, and snap pictures all day Yo you know what I kind of want to do I ain't gonna lie I kind of want I kind of want it to be no phones man mm, It's gotta be phones Nah it's gotta be phones I got kids Why? I got kids man I can't just put my phone away I'm, No we can have a phone I'm talking about <laughs> Everybody else. I don't. I think it should be no phones. I kind of want to see how people just interact with each other, man. I don't want it to be clicks here, there, there, and then. I, yo, everybody fuck with everybody. Does everybody have conversations? No phones. Fuck that. We ain't gonna sit on IG live all day. We're not gonna sit on Snap all day. We're not gonna do that. I think you look stupid doing that at the pool party. The pool party was never that. What? Where you just sit around and do that all day now? But, granted, but, but there's now, a lot more yeah, capability now, now. That's what I'm saying, and I, and yeah, I feel actually, like I was live streaming back then. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying, and I feel like now it'll be like out of control. It's well, gonna first, be like the, the service is shitty in his backyard. 
and the Wi-Fi yeah, don't really you, reach anyway. Yeah, you're so. gonna be, you're gonna be looking kind of nuts. Chicks come with their own. You know, these IG hoes got their own hotspots. <laughs> <right? laughs> yeah, ain't no IG hoes come with hotspots. No, the IG hoes Damn. are the hotspot. That's what I'm saying. They come with the hotspot. <laughs> so if I pull my Wi-Fi up, I'll see her. Stand acne. next to an IG model and see how much Wi-Fi you get. Unbelievable. Yo, That's nigga, funny. I'm this dead serious. Right. They gonna have their own hotspot. Like I'm That's good. Really I don't funny. need the password for the I Wi-Fi. I think there's gonna be entirely too many activities to partake in. I think it's gonna be too many funny people, too many great personalities. D nice is DJ. He's gone. You I'm a that means I would nothing. Love, I would love to see you be glued to your phone while D Nice is DJing. I do. That means nothing to a a girl a girl that's there just to get her pictures off. And hashtag. Well, why do we let why why we gotta let them in? Because they look good. Oh please, <laughs> but send be done, be done. Shot shot some shit up and got them out of here. No, we want we want females. Don't let sin scare the ladies away. No, no I'm not talking about female, but y'all talk, the the type of female y'all talking about. We, I just, I just want to have fun, man. I just don't you know start I mean? doing that shit you was doing in the jacuzzi that time with your friends. Snitching. <laughs> is this nigga snitching? Man, no, snitching he told podcast. that story on this fucking this podcast. Snitching. This shit is crazy. Nah, it ain't no. I'm just, you know, I just want to have fun. I want everybody to have fun, mingle, associate with each other. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, that's y'all, what I'm looking uh, forward to. Y'all get your rompers ready for the. Yeah, I have romper shit. I, I don't what know. Fuck is I that? don't get it. That's crazy. I don't, I don't understand. They really are pushing this. I think this feminine agenda on men. I think they really want to be feminine. Tell me about this. Uh, I don't know how it started, but romper, male rompers are now the new thing for the summer. And Twitter had a lot to say. What about is it. a romper? It's well, like you a have to piece. take the whole thing off to piss. <laughs> that sounds like a K7 song, a romper. Yeah. You got to take the whole thing off. So you it's like use a one suit? Like a one piece? Yeah, but yeah, it's shorts. But it's shorts and, and it's, shorts it's connected shit. to the top. A oh, Russell Westbrook, uh, Cam Newton type shit. Ex- yeah, Cam Newton, I think, wore one because his okay. picture was So why is this such a big deal today? Yeah, you know, Twitter it was. A slow I guess news they day. trying to force that as the new fashion trend for the summer for men. I guess. Women also keep telling us where our G spot is located. We don't <laughs> listen to that either. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why do we care about what women have? To I don't. Say about I mean, what it's just wearing? that's just what they're pushing right now on social media. Listen, I just just got hip to sweatpants that fit properly. I'm not, <laughs> not, not about to put me in a fucking room. What are you talking about here? I think I'm gonna bring <laughs> jean shorts back, yo. They not. They come left. Back. I think yes, yeah. they left. It, when? They're, they're gone. What year was it? I know it was funny for a while. 2006. No, it wasn't no, that long. Bugging, Has it been? You're bugging Roy. All right, bugging no, Roy. 2009, 10, they, they yeah, was out of here. That yeah. sounds about right. That sounds about right. We should bring them back. What replaced them? I still have mine. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the memo. I have like four pairs. <laughs> I should have known it was over because they was trues. <laughs> You would have true religion, Jesus. No, that's funny. Yo, there was a whole span of time where it was trues. Yeah, trues was the. That was a while ago. It was a while ago, man. It was. But I did like those true religion jean shorts because they were soft. Yeah, soft denim jean yeah, shorts. It was are not soft, bad. soft denim jean. Yeah. So how can that ever be whack to me? I'm not talking about like the hard dungaree jean shorts. But yeah, whatever, I, I get think it. we should bring jean shorts back with the color right, in so the pockets. I thought camouflage shorts was like mm-hmm. out. Yeah, that's, nah. that's over with. I thought oh, those were still Rory, popping. Look at Rory. Nah, that was mm-hmm. over with. I'm not in the short game. I don't know. You wear some. Uh, you gonna know how unpopping they are if you wear some jean shorts to the pool party. No, no, I mean, not some some car, some uh, fatigue oh. shorts to the pool party. <laughs> Wait, all right. So I'm I gonna have, give you bars all day. All right, when you know when, right when now. did cargo shorts and foams go out? Like three years ago. I've been foams went out foams. when they started. Too yeah, they many started colors. Going crazy. Yeah, with the colors. That was kind of. Yeah, I started corny. seeing I Master P, Master P foams. It was all types. Yeah, I seen of fruity pebble on. foams. I ain't know what the fuck. It was, was going like 2011. Yeah. Where it was the white V neck cargo shorts and foams was yeah. like the it, outfit. So yeah, once the niggas started putting out just the, the galaxy foams. <laughs> yeah. And now yeah, you just yeah, gonna really, yeah. really, my nigga, you just gonna plaster the universe on the side of the foam. I'm supposed to go craft with a waiting line for this. You are gonna raffle this off? They went crazy. Sorry, Nike. They went foam. Sorry, Phil. Yeah. They went foam crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so, over. Brandon is the only person I know still wearing foams. Brandon, Brandon definitely 100%. has some foams on right now. Yeah, no, Brandon's looking for foams <laughs> <Yeah>. right now. <laughs> the news just dropped. Yeah. He the only one on foamposite.com. Brandon's at Kiss right now. <laughs> foamposite.com forward slash Brandon. <laughs> he got a username? <laughs> yes. It's his site. He got a login. He it's made his site. <laughs> he created the site. Uh, all right, so we offer foam posits. What were we talking about? <laughs> the pool party. That was real funny. All right, back to the pool party. Uh, Big girls, it's a one burger maximum. <laughs> Stay away yeah, from the grill. With this nigga, Stay man. away from the grill. No, I'm just playing. No, the, the big, big joints can't get that. No, mm. big girls got their fire. 
<laughs> Yo, see? See what I'm saying? Why you always got to play games, man? Why? You why? Know. No, <laughs> don't ask me no question. No. Why? I just want to know why you play a game. All right, I'm, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. Uh, but you wait, so I can't announce the games. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. Pool party? Yeah, Maul is hosting speed dating. I, I am hosting I thought, speed dating. I thought we announced that. Well, let's no. talk about it again. Do you have your questions ready? Not yet, but I will. Right. I will. You know I'm going to have some... I'm gonna have some fire questions. I'm gonna get somebody late that night. I look forward to seeing seeing people. Sin said no one can spend the night. Sin got me twisted. I was gonna say. Sin, Sin I'm, going run right, I'm going right. I'm going right up to the same room. Sin don't run no sleeping. fucking shots with me. I'm a, okay. Shut up. Okay. That's, yeah. No, that's such a lie. <laughs> right. I was gonna let you get that off. Listen, 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 yeah, I'm not letting you get it off. I tried no. to mumble it. Nah, fuck <laughs> that. I, tried to, no, 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 no. I, I will definitely be spending the night. Um, night pool gonna be lit. Is it? Nigga, yes, whether you there or not. Oh, listen, we ain't talking about <laughs> shit. I'm not fucking with y'all. Uh, but it, it, uh, it, we have gotten some really good uh, really good feedback, though. Yeah. As far as the people that will be in attendance. A bunch of people been hitting my phone, and I'm just like, damn. Yeah, no, niggas ain't come showing people up. People I ain't spoken no phone to <laughs> years been hitting me up. Yo, so do y'all want to get into, uh, I was talking about this earlier with Rory. He didn't seem like he gave a fuck. Uh, this Steve Harvey email, I thought it was pretty funny only because I identify with that type of language. I didn't hear well, it. I didn't read it because I didn't even know about it when you told me about it. That's wild. That was kind of like a big thing. All right, so apparently, <laughs> Steve Harvey's a real nigga. Steve Harvey, who just got promoted or he got his own show, the Steve Harvey Show or some shit. It's in L.A. He used to film his old show in Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. So he's leaving, he's going to L.A. Apparently a lot of his old employees are very angry and upset with him. So they're doing all they can to tarnish his image. So they released this letter that they say he wrote before this season of his show started that says, Good morning. <laughs> Every- <laughs> Wait, why y'all laughing? <laughs> That's just funny. The way, the way you just read it. He says, Good morning. <laughs> Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. I'd like you all to review and adhere to the following rules and notes for season five of my talk show. (laughs) This nigga's ill. There will be no meetings in my dressing room. No stopping by or popping in. (laughs) No one. I'm on board already. (laughs) No one. I don't see the problem there. (laughs) No one. So we we clear. Please, I'm going to stop. Do not come to my dressing room unless invited. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. Do not yeah, more. Do not open my dressing room door. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. That's funny. If in caps, if you open my door, expect to be removed. <laughs> wait, this that's more. Funny. This funny. more. Wait. Look. <laughs> expect to be removed. My security team, wait, my security team will stop everyone from standing at my door who have the intent to see or speak to me. <laughs> so he don't want he not fucking with nobody. <laughs> I want all the ambushing to stop now. That includes TV staff. You must schedule an appointment. I have been taken advantage of by my lenient policy in the past. This ends now. No more. <laughs> Do not approach me while I'm in the makeup chair unless I ask to speak with you directly. Either knock or use the doorbell. I am seeking more free time for me throughout the day. Wait, he has a doorbell on his dressing room? (laughs) Yeah, nigga. Steve. Steve is ill. It's Steve. He's ill. I am seeking more free time for me throughout the day. Do not wait in any hallway to speak to me. (laughs) I hate being ambushed. Wait, I hate being ambushed. Please make an appointment. I promise you, I will not entertain you in the hallway. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. Steve is this, ill. Yo, I will not entertain you in the hallway and do not attempt to walk with me. <laughs> yo, Steve wait, sound like he wait, fed the fuck wait, up with And do over not there. attempt to walk with me. If you're reading this, yes, I mean you. <laughs> Everyone, do not take offense to the new way of doing business. It is for the good of my personal life and enjoyment. Thank you all. Steve Harvey. That sounds like it was written by you. I could see you writing some shit like that. <laughs> see, that's how I know I'm a little off mall. Because I read that letter and didn't see Nothing anything wrong, wrong yeah. with anything he said. Yeah, no, I, no. I know. I know you don't. Wait, so then, so the employees, uh, so when they put this letter out to like tarnish his image and shit, 
And Steve was like, no. Nah. <laughs> I wrote that. I wrote <laughs> That's my letter. I meant every word of that shit. Sent right. it to my new show, too. Yeah. yeah. I just thought that was rather real. Oh, while I'm at it. No, nah, I'm not even reading that. I'm not even what, reading what? that. Uh, K. Michelle put out, like, the rules to her restaurant that she opened, and it was written by her, I think, and it was trying to be cool and fresh, but... Nah, I would report on this black youngster story, but I don't know it. Yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know enough about either. any of anybody involved. Yeah. And I heard something about a hundred gunshots, which means I'm clocking out of this one. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Sorry. Best of luck to both yeah. parties. Yeah. Woo. At 37, that's signing up for that one. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see what else. <laughs> I don't even know why that was funny. Uh, do we want to talk about Monique? Uh, Monique uh, and this uh, Oprah. Monique versus Oprah and Steve, uh, Tyler Perry and Lee Daniels. Give that us, sounds give us interesting. The I didn't hear about it, but it sounds interesting. Okay, so this is where I plug the aux up to the phone. Monique was doing a stand-up show. She claims that she has been blackballed. By Oprah, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels. Up by some niggas who had no balls. And see, I know they like to say, Monique, you talk too motherfucking much. It would kill me not to say the real All right. I had, I had enough of that. But, yeah, that's what she's saying. <clears throat> yeah. Do we care? Y'all don't care. Has she been in any uh, Tyler I think, Perry I think Monique kind of fell out of the rotation when she got on her. Because her whole, th- her whole thing, her whole career was be big, be proud. You know, I'm a big girl. That was kind of how funny things were. As soon as she started losing weight, it was kind of like, oh, you get out of here. Well, she was trying to make the transition from the... And it com- didn't work. The comedian that joked about weight. And it didn't to, work. To actual talk show shit. Yeah, you can't do that. We already had Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you... you <laughs> That was just... <laughs> That was crazy. Hey. That was just staple. That, a, that was a, just. I mean, we're not just letting all these big girls get skinny. Yeah, it was like, yo, that was just that was just spiel your whole career. It's like now you want to be skinny. That's fucked up. I love Jennifer Hudson too, but the jokes must fly. Yeah, the jokes must. The jokes fly. must fly. Well, that was stand up too. It's jokes. She didn't necessarily mean it. Maybe yeah, unless did I'm, she retract her statements afterwards? I'm did not, she oh. have to apologize for her jokes? Who? No, she didn't apologize. Actually, today a story went out of her saying, yeah, I said that shit. Yo, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, keeping it a buck is coming back. Are you leading the charge, It's coming. I'm not going to say I'm leading the charge, but thank thank you for finally saluting me properly. It's been all day. Are you chief keeping it a buck? (laughs) No, Maul. I'm not chief keeping it a buck. What kind of hat is this that you have on? It's called Colorblind. Yo, this close, nigga is getting line. some sponsored bags, man. Word. No. God damn yeah, it. Because he got the, the straight on camera angle so he can get the hat no, plugged this is, this off. DJ line. DJ and I'm a, and it, is a, it is a dope hat. Yeah. I no. can't I can't get shit. I was gonna say, you don't, wear, you don't wear, wear dad hats. You don't wear snaps. Yeah, no, I don't wear dad hats. Wear, we gonna make a fitted just. Is there one that's not orange? Because I'm too orange already. She yeah. Like adding got more, black, more orange white. is tough. It's called colorblind. Got all colors, man. Dad hats are only cool if you're like not a dad. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> what? you can't be a dad in a dad hat. <laughs> what, why I'm not? I'm pretty sure dads wear dad hats. Where? That's where it comes from? Show it to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on today? Did y'all hear this story here about? Uh, all right, so everybody's doing stupid shit. This nigga's just stupid. A Memphis musician dying after setting himself on fire on Facebook. I'm not talking about you. Fuck out of here. Chili is all lives matter. Do we care about that? It hurts because Chili was my first crush ever. I knew Usher was right. <laughs> I stuck up for Con- Usher. The confessions album yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, you're looking funny in the light, Chili. You in that logic. <laughs> I never, yo, where's the album TLC promised us? <laughs> Relax, man. Come on, man. Come on. Really, Joe? We donated to the budget. Come on, are you serious? <laughs> Y'all ain't shit, You know what? Man. L.A. Reid probably had them under contract. <laughs> Hey, listen, bro. We listen. I think this might these jokes write themselves. Full circle. These jokes write themselves, man. I think man. L.A. Reid still had them signed. Yo, they're gonna shoot me, and it's gonna be because of something y'all said. Oh yeah, us. All the things you say. I could just see it. All right, let's see. Rosewood was canceled. Who gives a fuck there? Oh, now here's a really good story. 
This was a real good story. Warner Music cuts new deal with YouTube, and they're not very pleased with the terms. Mm. This is a great story on Forbes, and I'll give you, I'll give you just the Cliff Note version yet again. Because for me, information is power, and if you if you are in the music business or have dreams and aspirations of being in the music business, I think it's important to be well informed. This reads, <clears throat> all of the major labels have been out of contract and on a month-to-month basis in their licensing agreements with YouTube for some time now. But the first domino has fallen as Warner Music Group reported that it's just completed a new deal with the video service. Even though no terms were announced, its announcement, uh, uh, it's easy to read between the lines of the announcement to see that Warner Music didn't get much of what it wanted. All right. This goes on to say. Ooh, yeah, right here. All right. This goes on to say, indeed, the music industry isn't very happy with YouTube's royalty payouts. But it's between a rock and a hard place when it comes to changing it. Should a label refuse to license its catalog to the service, its music will still appear on it thanks to the fact that the user-generated content featuring that music will still be posted. The problem here is that instead of a below-industry average payout, there would be no payout at all since the label wouldn't be able to monetize those user videos as it does now. YouTube is completely shielded from any threat of copyright violation thanks to the DMCA law that labels user content, uh, air quote, safe harbor, for which YouTube is not responsible. This was all, I mean, I guess I knew this. Right. But to hear it this way, now, about, about the best Warner Music could do was go for a deal with a short duration. Our new deals are also shorter than usual. Given uh, uh, Bottom line, it says YouTube is running the show. Even in negotiations, we already knew that. Anybody that's doing all that licensing shit, they are running the show. I, I'm not going to correlate this back to Apple. We don't have the time for that. Mm-hmm. But that's the era that we're in. The, the, the content is the new record deal. Right. And agree. music, I mean, again... Niggas is not getting paid. The labels are not getting paid. So how much money is getting getting uh, funneled to the X next five years? Just remember I said it. Well, I've been saying it. Yeah, you, yeah I will say that. You have been one I've been of the saying it. artists for years that have been pushing the, the internet and the power of the internet and where it was headed with music. Yeah, they swallowing all of this shit. I just thought that that was great. There's a story saying that Chris Rock thing. I hate that all the stories I get now, I fucking have argued it complex at some point. Chris Rock thinks that that Kanye album is the best album ever made. Oh yeah, well we it's funny we had that debate like what two years ago. Yeah, we did out that um, shit well before it got trendy. Uh, uh, my my beautiful, beautiful, yeah, my beautiful dog twisted. Another L.A. Reid uh, project, might I add. Um, Joe, <laughs> what? <laughs> it was L.A. Reid project. He, he was, is he serious? I mean, he was there. He he was the head of Def Jam. <laughs> he was there. L.A. Reid project. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he. I think he was, no, he was. in creative control as well. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> he was in Hawaii. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the MPC, might I add. Yeah, I bet. Uh, yeah, I brought that to your attention years ago that I thought you could make a case that My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is the greatest hip hop album of all time. It is nowhere near my favorite, but if you go track by track, I think you could make a case that it's the greatest hip hop album of all time. I will give you your credit. You did say that. I said that before it became trendy, but I, I don't think it's trendy to say now. Well, it's been in conversation. Amongst who? You, I mean, you do a show on Complex. I was trying to give credit that it was in conversation, but never mind. Fuck no, your show. Fuck that show. Right, <laughs> right. This second. Uh, no, it was on Twitter after Chris Rock said it. It was a, a pretty big subject on Twitter that My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy was a classic. It was during that little classic. Even in album. our argument, so, even in mine and your argument years ago, which I refuted everything you said, but the course, one thing that did, did that did sound like it made some sense was You don't even remember what, that argument. We, we, yes, I do. <laughs> and now he refuted now he refuted every point. <laughs> it was me, you and Dill in, in my uh, old living room. But, no, it was me you and Corey. Dill was not there. Oh, Corey. Yeah. Same shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh the point eventually led to that album might be one of the best produced albums. Mm. I think I think you don't see it one because 
you got to give it some time because the rollout was so terrible. We heard the whole album before it ever came out. Like it was bits and pieces, incomplete track. It just wasn't a good rollout. Does Everyone was a- over the album when it came out because we had heard everything and it was just a mess the way it came out. <laughs> LA that, does that mean the rollout was bad or great? <laughs> it was terrible. Everything was leaked. It, I like that shitty. rollout a little bit. Well, I mean, Kanye always has. They made the ones, best of but, it. Yeah, um, but I, I think the album is almost too perfect. Like it's too polished. It's Rory's too generation great. really thinks highly of that album. I'm sitting here trying to think. I don't that that album didn't really. I, I mean, it was a good album, but it it didn't. Niggas our age feel like I that. can't remember the last time I listened to that uh, any song on that album. Mm-hmm. Like I really can't. To to me, it's like a James Cameron movie. Like it's a Terminator movie. It has so much money behind it. Like in the production value, it was amazing. No, I get. The, it's like too yeah. polished. I, I, I don't know that. if there's. Yeah. I think of course with uh, Blame Game has a lot of emotion on it, but a lot of it is just great production and great raps, mm-hmm. and a, and a lot of great features. It's mm-hmm. just too perfect. That's why I think it went over people. Like that's why I don't like the Bruno Mars album. Mm-hmm. It's too polished. It didn't. It didn't have any feeling to me. Mm. It was overproduced, and I think that's where people in your age bracket don't like that album. But well, not don't I, but like, I not like, not, I'm okay. sorry, not don't like okay. it, but don't give it the credit that's due there. But do we do we think I that think that's we better? Get, than, I give it the credit it's due. Is it better than like college dropout graduation? Is it like <laughs> if not to me? But if to you anybody, it, if it? you were to put it yeah, track that, for that's, track, yeah, that's what they're it saying. Would. It's like. It's back to the example of of Michael being the greatest basketball player, but he's not my favorite basketball player. If you put the stats up, right. I just feel like track for track, music wise, I don't know what it did with sales or it didn't really have that much impact either. But I just think track for track, it's it's could be considered one of the better hip hop albums ever. How if it's not even his fucking top two album? Or top three to me, but I understand mm-hmm. other people saying saying differently. So, I mean, that's just to me. But how if that's not even a top two album from him? So we here, could at least agree on that, it's, right? It's funny. I was over the weekend listening to College Dropout and how it aged. To me, because I was 14, it was like the most amazing thing ever. But I feel like a kid going back and listening to College Dropout versus My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy blows it out of the water. Not even remotely close. But you know how you it just is. Start, yeah, but value, you just started that by saying a kid. I'm agreeing with yeah, you. Yeah, no, well, I'm we're just talking I'm about a kid. Pulling to another point of where people rank that. I listened to College albums. Dropout the other day, and that should sound even more amazing to me. And I and then I said, "Yep, that's how a classic should be." But, but oh, College know, Dropout is 100 percent a classic. But you know how it is being an artist, Joe. Certain shit that you create is more. It'll be always be your favorite for different reasons versus the fans that listen to it. Okay, time out. College Dropout changed the hip hop. I agree. I'm, I'm agreeing with you with that. So it's like, it's not that that's why that's my favorite, but mm-hmm. that classic did so much. Yeah. I can't just roll with uh, my beautiful dog Twisted Fantasy. Well, wow, it was a good album. Produced. It was a yeah. great, amazing yeah. album. But yeah. I'm not. I, I'm not saying when I say. The and best, I I'm not saying with, with where it should be as far as impact because it didn't have that and all the factors you put into a classic. But I think if you literally go song by song, that uh, it's flawless. All like right. there's no weak. Points in that album? No, not at all. It's, we can, we it's can agree. phenomenal. <laughs> Did, so now Rory didn't see that. Oh man, not Rory. We didn't even talk about that. Do we have to care about that? I keep seeing people talk about that Real Housewives of Atlanta fight with Homeboy. I don't. The muscle bound nigga with, who, who fought the old nigga with the gray beard. I don't watch that show, so I, I don't, don't know mean, anything I mean, about no it. Do you talking about? But yeah. I've seen these two names enough, and the big nigga damn near lost the fight to the fifty-seven-year-old guy. Nobody cares. What do y'all do during the week? We don't watch Real Housewives. Definitely not watch Me neither. Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> Me neither. So why are you so Oh, y'all perplexed? tell me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see what's going on. Yeah, we out here getting money. <laughs> Everybody simmer down. What's going on? Simmer down, though. Don't do. Don't try to do what y'all just did. <laughs> what? Don't do that again, Ma. I don't even know what you're talking I, about. I know. Don't do that, though. <laughs> Yo, don't try crazy. to paint me in that no, fucking no, no, Real I, Housewives of no, Atlanta No, no, that's corner. not what I was doing. I'm yeah, just saying. But you like, and, it seemed that way. You looked a little puzzled as to why I have. I don't have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> no, I was if about, we were puzzled, that, is that what you did? No, I was about to be defensive and protect myself because my feelings were hurt because my friends were coming at me. I wasn't coming at you. I but you do watch a lot of TV, though. That's not true. You do. No, maybe I, I don't not, even watch TV. Maybe not reality show, but you're a yes, movie, you uh, 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 miniseries guy. That's what you <laughs> you're do. talking about a TV show every oh. day. Okay, wait. You don't watch you reality watch television. That's not, that's that's not fair. TV today is easier to watch. You can watch it from anywhere. Okay, that yeah. may be true. I'm not watching watch. cable 
programming anymore, really. No, but you watch a lot of shows. You watch a lot of movies. American watch- Greed is my new show. I'm stuck on it. Yeah, you're that guy. I normally watch uh, <laughs> Channel ID. If somebody is dying on the show, I'm watching it. And trying to and trying to figure out why and trying to solve it. Yeah. Yes, before the TV show tells me. One hundred percent. I've seen I you think, do that. I think there's a lot of people doing that. I've seen you do that for like six days straight, though. I was worried about that. <laughs> like, Channel ID, this nigga bought about 20 tubs of vanilla Hagen Dazs ice cream yes. and locked himself Has in the room. Has been sitting yes. Indian style for 48 yeah. I'm hours. I'm like, though, what the fuck? So I'm like, all I'm like of did you shit. figure it out? He's like, yep, I got his ass. I was like, yeah, I'm in the wrong decade, man. I could have helped this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Y'all niggas is haters. <laughs> oh, we haters. All right, so what else is happening? Nothing? I'm trying to find the It's list. over. Forbes put out. The same wealthiest hip hop artist yeah. of 2017 Do we that care? they put out every year. I don't care. It's always Puff and Hove, right? Never as, as it should be. They just but, oh well flip positions. Oh, oh I'm so. definitely watching the, the Bill Cosby special on Channel ID that's coming up though. See? Oh, oh yeah, yeah they too. got Bill looking nuts in the streets. See? Well, not dumb, but Bill. Oh, the BT Award nominations. Let me look those up. How do we feel about that? I only know Cardi and I'm extremely happy. I'm happy too. I only know Cardi and Chance. I didn't I didn't read up on what everyone else is doing. I want to support and root for the people that I know that are nominated. Everyone else, good luck to you. <laughs> Young and May. Who's nominated? Young and May what? I don't know. I just the BT Awards are there. like a dope high school talent show. <laughs> Damn. A very well produced that's, high school. That's what we're doing now. Remember the high school talent shows? Kiss yeah, my yeah, BT Award goodbye. <laughs> 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 Y'all remember that? Of talent course. shows? Yeah. Winner of Rage in the Minnesota. You, you performed in your talent show before? <laughs> no, I did not. He uh, got kicked off the track team. How do you think he was school, doing in the not... fucking talent show? I keep he couldn't that. run right. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do in the talent <laughs> Damn, show? I couldn't run right. <laughs> I couldn't run right. Oh, that's another debate we had that we should have on uh, this podcast. What? Our college debate that we had on Sunday. You are. Do you want to do college it? Debate? Do it. Tell more right now. No, no. Tell more right now. This was your case. I defended the other side. All right, so then what were we? What was I saying? Remind me, help me. Uh, I want to say along the lines of college being pointless. Yes, that's exactly what I said. I said I think that college, along with uh, the medicine field, two of the biggest scams in the country. I said if my child mm. came to me and said, "I have no desire to go to college." I could understand. Mm -hmm. That part I didn't disagree with. Yeah, I agree with that. I said, I know so many people who went to college and they have jobs. They left with a yeah, and they left with a piece of paper and debt. Yeah, that that is going to take them quite some time to get out of, and it didn't guarantee them the job that they thought they would like. And then I can tell you the flip side of that, and and I get it that I maybe beat the odds and. You know, but I could tell you about a lot of people that did. Yeah. So I'm going to always argue for the creative side. Rory is part of, uh, I don't know anything about the fine, the, you know, I don't want to be offensive to them, to the, that type of group shit. So Rory argues the college life. He's adamant. He's in no, favor I, of okay. college. I, he, I his to argument to me was you pay <coughs> for the experience. Can I give my? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I was first trying to explain to him, and then, of course, it just turned into a debate and an argument. I was trying to explain to Joe that his view of college may be that you're really going there to learn. That you're supposed to sit in class and get more knowledge, more or less, I think he was saying. But you're paying for the network. You're paying to be around like-minded people. If I'm coming from a very negative area, a neighborhood, 18 to 22, I think, is one of the biggest forks in the road for anyone in life. I think mm-hmm. a lot of decisions that are made at 18 decide your entire life. Mm-hmm. So when you're leaving a negative area where people may not have ambition, I hate that word, but something along those lines of positivity, mm-hmm. going to college and getting yourself out of a negative environment and putting yourself in a positive one with a bunch of people that have goals to move forward mm-hmm. is a great decision yeah, to make. the biggest crock of shit I ever heard. Why is that a crock yeah, of the shit? Biggest crock, because first of all, you introduced taking someone out of bad place. Why are we in a bad place? Mm-hmm. Why well, do we, our, why did original, we start? That was at, our original argument. No, I was saying then that you were introducing that. Why am I starting at a bad place? I'm I, The bad place to me is when I get to the debt. 
And you're telling me I need the debt to get this piece of paper that you're telling me will give me an advantage in the working field. I don't think that that's the America we live in anymore. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think college <laughs> systematically is a scam that you are now required because jobs, a lot of jobs won't hire you without a degree. But I'm saying that if you are in a, any space at 18, you can go two ways. It's very easy to go negative 18. Let me put myself where all the positive people are. Yo, I didn't know anything about. There's a lot of negative people in college. Yeah, I don't know where he, where he gets that from. It's a lot of you pick up drugs and he in got college. kicked more, out of college. There's, there's there's more, you pick up drugs in college. You pick up you know a lot of there's a lot of idiots in college. Pick up, so there's no drugs outside of college. There's I'm no not party. Say, I'm, I'm not saying it's not. That. I'm not saying it's not. It's but the you same made, thing. It's even. You so made I don't even think it's a point. No, but you made it seem like college was this safe haven where it's going to keep all that. Yeah, it's safer. No, no. In a lot of in I a lot of instances, I wouldn't say that you're on your own. You 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 can be miles away from your parents. Yeah. You you know what I mean. It's also, also a great way to develop into an adult. Yeah, but you can also develop into a lot of negative things too. That going to college, I oh, know I know cats that, that went to college. With any any situation. My, 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 my thing is, I don't base su- uh, success on education. I, I'm not either. Right here, like I don't think you have to have the that's, greatest that's education to saying. be successful. I think that college it helps, is, but I mean it helps. But I think that college is more so. You know, like I do agree, it does put you kind of behind the eight ball because you come out, you are in debt. You're probably going to have get a job at an entry level position, any job that you get. You know what I mean, and work your way up, but you're still working your way out of debt. It, My thing is, you. you, you I don't st- even know, and I hate to take this here. I like trade schools. I like going to do something that you know what you want to do immediately. But here's the thing: a lot of 18 like year olds that. don't, and you get four years or at least two, two and a half to play with passions and try to figure out what you like and what you yeah, don't. Yeah, you like. find yourself when you're when you're 18. Oh, let me let me finish. Good. When you're 18 and you're not going to college, you got to find a job. Mm-hmm. Most likely, you're mm-hmm. gonna have some bills to pay. I'd imagine if you don't have the luxury of staying with your parents, mm-hmm. you don't have time to play with your your passions as much as someone that's in college who's paying a lot of money, which puts you in debt. But that's giving you the luxury to figure out what I want to do. There's a lot of opportunities. I didn't know what the fuck an internship was until I went to college. My man's was interning at Def Jam. I said, "Wait, you could do what? You could just be in college and go just be <laughs> be there and help out." Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I would have never known about that, I and I could have never done that guy. without college. I hate because be I didn't know woke, nobody. The woke guy here, but black men are already at a huge disadvantage in the working place with the current infrastructure. Mm-hmm. So your experience and your views coming out of college and how you handled debt and how you're accepted into this society and how somebody like me would have went to college and then came out and handled having debt and being accepted into the working class society is not the same thing. I don't really don't even think you could argue the point that I'm making. I'm saying that I'm going to always argue for the creators. I think if you really want to get to the money, There's creative get an idea. By the way. Get an idea. And I don't need to be in college to get an idea. Don't tell me about the uh, the uh, business marketing and the course you took just to fill up some fucking credits. Don't tell me about that. Don't tell me about that. Don't tell me about it. If you crave information and you inquisitive, you can go get it. A nigga not going to know I dropped down in 10th grade unless I tell it to him. Know why? I like information. I didn't need to pay somebody to go get that. Mm -hmm. By 19, I was on to the money. By 20, I was on to the money. By 21, I was on to the money. I'm on to the money. I'm not owing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joe, no one, well, you would owe your label, but... Yeah, uh, like an idiot. I should have went to college. Went to college. I got a business. <laughs> I should have went to college um, so I could have fucking understood what was going on. But not, not of course, what we spoke about then, and you kind of brought it up in your point. Not everyone is a talented rapper. I know, Roy. <laughs> like, I know. That's a tough thing I to know, say. Roy. But this is the era where you, you see so many creatives. This is the creative generation. Well, yeah, the, I think that, that's yeah. what I'm. That's my thing. I think now is when the creatives are running the world. Yeah, In the, the next five yeah. to ten years? Yeah, the, this is the shit. creative generation. No, like, I, you can do I, I anything now. Now, of course, with I mean, always, but now more than ever. College is, is less important than it was five years ago. Much less, absolutely, which I think is great because yeah. I'm not here. I'm not being pro college here. I'm just saying there is a good aspect of being around that many no, they, like-minded individuals. Absolutely, but because of course gotta, there's a lot of shitty people. I in might college, as well go join a gang then. It's a bunch of no, like-minded individuals there. Yeah, but we right, don't want to do that. Though. I'm just saying there's all types of different places. Yeah, no, I you get what you're saying, though. I, I understand what you're yeah, saying. But, cops, but, every, everybody can say that. Yeah. Every group can say that. Yeah. yeah that's why I don't that, like that's that. That's the thing where you, it is a flip side to college, too. You can pick up a lot of negative shit. Of course. I'm because not, there are I'm a lot of that. negative kids in college. Absolutely. That can't wait to do negative shit once they get away from their parents. Yes, but yeah, I word. will say in that environment, 
there's a lot of positivity. It is. I agree. And there's negative shit everywhere. Yeah, I agree. So, I, I, and there's oh, not you positive just shit everywhere. just drop that line on me. There's negative shit everywhere. There is. That's so cliche. Is it well, negative? Well, that's what you're, you're, that's what you're, you're saying you're, there is in college. You're you using better, that line. You're better than that line. There's no negative <laughs> shit in this room, though. Hell yeah. There's, Joe is right across from me. <laughs> <laughs> I am negative, so that's true. I felt like there was so much to cover, and then I just stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> really? <laughs> What else? I mean, I, I thought it was. Well, when y'all don't care about shit, I don't really care about shit either. No, I think we kind of covered everything. Though. <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, Nothing funny oh, happening in the music. Think, oh, Bryson Tiller's Chelsea, new record. There you go, Tiller. Mm. Damn, he gets a. a After growl? you shit it on my Bryson Tiller sleeper last that week. That shit was trash. I know. I that beat it. was hard. The record is a good record, man. It probably is a good record in flow of the album. No, I think that was someone else's record that Tiller was featured on. Yeah, his name was One Take Timmy. You missed that part. Oh, oh, okay. So that's why I'm judging it that way. I thought that was a Tiller record. So I'm judging it on a Tiller curve. I missed that whole part. I apologize. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, now that record is hard. Right. No. So when people say Tiller put out three records, I thought that was one of them. So what's no, the other no, two no, records? No. Uh, it's a Young Thug record, one other one, and then the one I liked. The, oh, I'm not doing all that. All right. So something tell me. All right, he's still not at the park yet, Ma. It's a lot of features. Yeah, you go from no features to a lot of features. You got one. It's one feature. There was one feature out of those three. There's some more features coming. Of more course features. There is. That might be the name of his album. More features. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> I like the Something Tells Me song a lot. Yeah, I, I like that record. He definitely stayed in the pocket of Trap Soul. Yeah, I think he has to at this point. I don't want. I don't. I think I don't, that's what the people want. Yeah, I don't know if he should be uh, deviating from that too yeah, much, Rory. I think the people want the I, Trap Soul. I think he tried to, and that's <laughs> kind of where the hole up came in. No, I wasn't suggesting that he shouldn't. I think he should stay with what works for him. But, right. but eventually, it, he's going to have to change a little bit to show his artistry. You can't give five trap souls isn't going to work. Why is he going to have to change? <laughs> Why? Why is it not going to work? New niggas if, you're love- trying to be a, if you're trying to be a top tier artist, yeah, you have to show some development in your isn't, sound. Isn't he already a top tier artist? You're saying if you're trying to grow it? Yeah. I That's my he, opinion. I, I think he could sneak another two more trap souls yeah, in. Definitely. I, shit, the, the sound could change. How do y'all know that? Sounds changed every so many years. That is true. That's true. So that I, true. he's got to adapt. He has the sound now. I just don't think that he needs change. to be sitting behind a piano singing a ballad anytime soon. I agree with Word. you 100% on that. I don't need to hear Don't do that. that. Please don't do that. But I think he's a very talented writer. So if you get the right producers in there, with, I think he can adapt. I think he's staying with this sound just because it's working so well. I wouldn't change it. Yeah. Bryson, eventually, you're going to have to. Bryson on every song, well, not every song, but on a few songs... He always has a line or two that is guaranteed to make me laugh every single time I hear it. Never fails like clockwork. So now in this new song that I love, in the second verse, when he starts talking about what his man, man, male intuition starts telling him. A topic that you love. Go ahead. Oh, Bryson, 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 man. What did he say? Let me help you out. <laughs> How old is Bryson? <laughs> 23 maybe yeah. Alright that's why 24, 23 Bryson, Bryson, Bryson Let me help you If your significant other Finds a magnum on you Yes <laughs> You're gonna have problems <laughs> Why is he oh, He's surprised Did y'all listen to that verse? Yeah Man where the fuck is the verse? That might be my Play sleeper it. pick Yeah Let's that should, should be your sleeper record what do you mean that should be my sleeper record? You should be Get Tory mad at me Fuck out of here Why, why would Tory <laughs> wait, 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 like Bryson? I don't know oh. I'm just talking shit. Uh, da, 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 dun, dun, dun. Y'all gonna talk or something? Y'all just gonna read your phone on the podcast? Oh no, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to find crazy. a list of BT. Uh, oh my nominations. god, it's not my fault you can't bring a song up in one second in 2017. Shut up. Let me get in this fire real quick. Hold up. Hey. What? Stop with that whack ass ad lib. Why? I say wait a minute on everything. By the way, I like that ad lib. Oh, now you're trying to hate on my ad lib. Yeah. yeah. My intuition has been telling what has your intuition been telling you, Bryson? That's what you said to me. He ain't never really felt love till you slept with me. He's pretty cocky. I'm busy. It's no wonder you upset with me. All right, hold up for a second. <laughs> what? Talk about it. <laughs> yes, Bryson. That is why she's upset. <laughs> it's because you're, you're busy. <laughs> Yo. You are the worst dude to like dissect a bar. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you will make a verse sound, a line sound so terrible. Yes. Wait. Yes, Bryson. He didn't just say that. We know what he said, Joe. But damn. Listen, Drake has already bodied this 
Drake is the king of this. Mm-hmm. It's like they used to say, don't you can't out drug deal, hove and push. Mm-hmm. Just try something else. If that's your thing, do something different. I'm not mad at this song. I like this a lot, but it's funny when I hear it. But that wasn't even a line. Oh. Wait, he he said he don't know how to explain it. You are such a fucking <laughs> asshole, man. Hey, you two people. Pat. Anybody. <laughs> anybody. People, anybody. Wait, anybody. Bryson, I hate to break it to you. That's not intuition. <laughs> that's not woman's intuition at all. Right. No, that's that's just you fucking it up, dogs. Right. You can't go on tour and be busy and then come back with a magnum in your pocket and not expect a huge argument. I'm sorry, Bryson. That was in that way before we started dating. Did he? Did that he was no, wait. Did see, he do his and laundry? That's a, that's a Rory line right there. Wait, what was my line? Rory is the worst liar to his girl. <laughs> 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 wait, this is crazy. This nigga Bryson just said he just said that was in there way before us. Yeah, I don't do laundry that often. Get it off, Bro- <laughs> Rory. It might work. Yeah, you got to test the water sometimes. All right, time sometimes out. Sometimes you got to quick right, temperature check out, to see out. how bad I can lie right here. Time out. This leads, us, this leads me to a question for both of you gentlemen. Really not more because you have to be in a relationship at some Here point in go. your life. See? <laughs> he can still lie to his own. You're not judging your girl if she fall for the easy lie. Mm. How, I mean, did I sell it? <laughs> 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 how, how well did I sell it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the key. That's did the I have yo, conviction in my What is wrong voice? with y'all? Yeah, you know, because some lies have worked for me, and I'll be like, I wait till I get along. I'm in the shower. I'm like, that shit worked. <laughs> no, you ever know, like you ever know a lie is not gonna work, and that shit work, and your whole body just like, yeah, what the fuck? Do you know the intricate lengths I have gone to back in my lying days to lie? Let me tell a funny story about a Joe lie. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, it's nothing. It, is, am I gonna get in trouble? No. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we was all at the crib one night. Who was so, we all? So we we ain't gonna name no names, but we was playing Monopoly. <laughs> all right, right. Sounds like harmless. So now niggas don't niggas like yo. This nigga Joe, his nigga ain't losing no bread. How the fuck is nigga got those money? Niggas go to the bathroom. Good decision making. Niggas go to the bathroom. Well, y'all was playing Monopoly. Yes, because he keep he keep a whole stack Listen, stashed somewhere in the l- crib. That's what I'm about to tell you. We go to the bathroom. Ain't no more toilet tissue. So you know, naturally look under the sink. This nigga got a whole plastic bag full of new Monopoly money. Yeah, you know how sick you got to be to go buy a new bag of Monopoly money nah, and say, I'm going to stash this you. around the house? There's something wrong Oh, wait. You. See, that just reminded me of one of my legendary malls. Why you a legend, man? Oh, here we go. You Look how fast. Yeah. See, I like when, see, whenever I tell a story about Joe, he want to come back. Go ahead. No, you know why? Because my memory is bad. Okay. So I don't remember anything about any of y'all. Okay. <laughs> I just wake up every day and I know we friends. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, you might need help. Y'all bro. are stored Word. in my phone, so we just kick it. Right. We see each other Tuesdays. We rock, right? But remember fucking, uh, I mean, we ain't gonna name the names, but there was somebody who flew into town, right? And they had a friend who appeared to be like a supermodel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember. Like, that. she was like 6'9. <laughs> she wasn't that tall. In yeah. flats. Right. That chick's skin <laughs> looked like flats. it was made fresh from out of leather. Mm-hmm. She was all right. Mm-hmm. And she liked more. Wait a minute, mother. Don't just say that like <laughs> that's a total <laughs> surprise. What the fuck is wrong with that? No, but I mean, she was really on mall. Yeah, nigga. I was that so ain't, that amazed. Ain't, fuck you. That don't even have to be amazed about. What the fuck you mean you was amazed? Nah, she was nice. Yeah, I've seen Maul do some legendary shit, man. Where is she? I don't know. This nigga Maul would. She found a See, but that's the thing. in his pocket. Maul would be the man for a day, and, and then the chick would hate that nigga. So I don't know uh, what The be, man for a day I don't is know crazy. what go on after that. Chicks ain't fucking with Maul. All right, uh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Chicks ain't fucking with Maul. Chicks ain't fucking with Maul. I'm done with uh, Bryce. Oh, look, I hate facing all. Lay down, baby, I'm going to take it slow. Wait, how did you go from that to fucking... I'm done with Bryson. I just man. don't know how you leave a condom. This man. song is hard. You can't leave a fucking that's, magnum in that's your. That's wild. No. Yeah, niggas, well, and niggas ain't doing that no more. Wait, using condoms? I agree. I'm done with that. Ran, shit. Here's oh, a ran, I'm random. Done with that. Whoa, wait, what happened? Wait, what? I'm wait, gonna, Rory's being nasty again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Irish nigga. Irish nasty. Maul. That is, should be your, like, yeah. <laughs> Irish nasty. Irish nasty. 
<laughs> Yo, Irish un- nasty I'm should be like that. Should be like your like your name when you decide to go out and just be like filthy. She's like, yo, call me Irish Nasty. See, if Rory was smart and he wasn't on his college stick, he would come out with a bar of soap or some shit Irish Nasty. You want to wash yourself with something <laughs> called the Irish Nasty? No, nigga. First of all, washing yourself with Irish Spring. Is that the name of Irish Spring? <laughs> Irish yeah. Spring, yeah. That is the worst soap. Yeah, that shit is. In, you can Rory clean, probably owns Irish that, Spring. They got that shit at Rikers. Yeah, you can clean like a, a project elevator with Irish Spring soap. <laughs> I do your, my cleaning pots with fucking Irish Spring <laughs> Yeah, that spring shit is soap. terrible. I well, seen Irish Spring in a girl's shower one time. I knew it wasn't going to work. <laughs> I said, it's either she's disgusting or it's a nigga. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's really crazy of a girl. Do y'all go in girls' medicine cabinets? I, yeah. Girls got the best <laughs> lotions. They got the mean? best deodorant. Yeah. Best soaps. Yeah. I'm going through a I chick's whole bathroom. Um, What's the name? The Roots Picnic is uh, is coming up. Yeah. The, yeah. Root, the uh, festival. For, Wayne. For y'all going? Y'all going? When is it? Shit, June I'd, I'd like something. to I always say that And then June 2nd June comes, 3rd like, It's June 3rd Y'all and, wanna Where is it in Philly? Philly yeah Y'all wanna go We should go You should make like a road I trip I think I'm gonna go Joe was supposed to be on On the bill But he turned it down So we could've had the whole VIP treatment But now we just gotta be Regular people You turned it down well, for real Or is that a joke? I don't know what we're talking about oh, Okay <laughs> I'm a VIP So I'm just used to that treatment I know for Rory Something has to be happening Get wow. this shit off <laughs> Rory's VIP too though yeah, I've seen that's, him move around In the yeah. streets Come on man that Henny Palooza card is kind of heavy in the streets. It is. It is. Yeah. Mm. This podcast when, when, too, kind of. The way the shit, a dude, a dude ran up to me in Boston. Two, uh, three dudes ran up to me in Boston last night at the game. Why well, you ain't text me? I came up there. What happened? No, it wasn't beef. They was oh. like fans. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the yeah, kicker. Oh, wait, wait, so what three happened? Three dudes ran up on you in Boston. No, 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 no. They were fans of the show, but it bugged me out. <laughs> Did I'm they like, use the N word? No, definitely not. <laughs> oh, okay. In Boston. Okay. But they were fans of the show. They said to tell you guys, you know. I love what we're doing. Oh, all right. Boston guys yeah, that Boston, ran up on Mall. Three Boston guys. Oh, I think Trey yep. friends of the Trey show. Give me 20 I don't even see why we, that was even the drop there. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else do we need to get? Do you want to touch the BET Awards? The the Cardi? Uh, yeah, Cardi is in which what? fucking category? Cardi B been looking at. Hey, I don't know. Am I, am I just like horny? I don't know. She's a uh, best female <laughs> hip hop artist. <laughs> No, I'm like she looks. I remember what uh, when she first came on Love and Hip Hop, and now she doesn't even almost look like the same person anymore. Well, money do that. Yeah, yeah I mean, like her whole right, shit all, is. Cardi like, was never whack. No, no, but, she was never an ugly but girl. Add but add money into a already. Yeah, like now she's girl. like, like it's like yo, like you kind of look at Cardi like yo. Her and yeah, Offset just, just put out that video today. That shit is hard. A little too many motivational speeches for me now. Uh-uh. It's kind of kind of milking it. Come on, I ain't mad at it though. Relax. Let her, let let people change their lives, man. Yeah, I'm not mad. Damn. But she do look good. I'm about she to play. I'm about to play her record with Offset as my sleeper. That she shit is great. dope. Uh, yep. She all right. She's nominated for best female hip hop artist along with Missy, Nicki, Remy, and Young Ame. Do we hmm. th- do we think all of these people will be in attendance at the BET Awards? Yeah, I don't think Missy will be there. Why not? I just don't. She might be there. She made an appearance recently. Yeah, did she? I think she'll be there. Yeah, so she might be she there. Young Ame will definitely be there. Oh, of I course, mean, Cardi will definitely be will, there. Will uh, Nicki and Remy be there? Chris, we don't care. You ready to go home, nigga? I don't know, nigga. <laughs> Chris always start moving around extra fast yeah. when he's ready to leave. He over there unscrewing the water bottle Chris, on. Chris him. got a life. He be- yeah, that ain't no <laughs> fuck, nigga. This nigga paid the he fucking record. He keep dropping record. shit over there, so we keep looking at him like, <laughs> <laughs> what time yeah. is it? <laughs> yeah, we understand we was late. <laughs> shit, the draft, right? Uh, all right. What about it? I have no thoughts on on that. On Nikki and Remy being in the same place. I don't know that they both going to be in the same place. Remy already made the announcement that any beef or any of that shit is over with. So, I mean, what about it? There's that's really no, nothing about it. no fun. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be any fun. I'm more so, I'm very amused. I know y'all don't care about this. I'm more so wor- uh, focused on Fetty's baby mama, Masika, and Fetty's ex, whatever the light-skinned girl name is. They both still fighting over Fetty, and Fetty got a whole new chick. I got I to gotta salute that guy. <laughs> That's what happens That's when, you got a, when you got a bag. The bag. When you get a bag, the bag does change things. They fight over the dumbest shit when you got a bag. All right, lastly, oh, they, they fighting over the bag. Yeah, they are fighting <laughs> over the bag. <laughs> lastly, uh, while we're on the bag, uh, Charlemagne has a bet that my show will be over soon. <clears throat> Charlemagne, I mean, you might be right. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this show won't be over soon because I, I, I am unstable. Yeah. yeah, this this show's not ending. Yeah. I mean, I think he knows that. I think he was just talking about uh, that. Well, no, they, show. They, we're going to be replaced by academics. It's going to be Joe and Act. 
Charlemagne, let me explain something. <laughs> and I, you know, I love what you're doing. Throw some claps in there when you talk. Yeah. Let yeah. him know. No, I don't know. I got it. No, 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 no. I meant like aggressive while I'm talking. I know. We like Charlemagne. Yeah. Right Charlemagne, show. yeah. But there's, there will never come a day where academics will replace me in anything in my life. Let me just say that. Yeah, debatable. It ain't debatable. <laughs> so act, not, act kind of popping in these streets. Man. So you don't think? I don't act, care about that. He might, you he act, might take your Super Bowl. I could have went to the Celtics game. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, Joe. <laughs> he he could have had three 100, guys run up on you, You're right. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm talking about on this platform, though. Yeah, no, no, that's true. That, nobody's leaving this. Back. We're, we're we're doing great. I'm not paying Charlie Man any mind with that. But on the show part, though, he's right, man. The show will be over soon. I don't I don't see it that way. I think you are uh, severely mistaken and and not really assessing things correctly. I think you're smarter <coughs> than that. But you'll see more more will be revealed. They say. Well, I think they were joking a lot back. In yeah, no, it, 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 of course they were so jokes. jokes. <laughs> it's all jokes. Well, no. I had hit Joe when I when I heard it and was like, "Nah, we got to start this beef." I'm all the way in. So fuck brilliant. Andrew's tall. He is tall. Yeah. I would love to see you and Andrew slap That don't really mean shit in fighting. Yeah, because Vlad is tall. And boy, when I see him. (laughs) We're going to have a conversation. He's going to come right down the sides. No, we're going to have a conversation. I mean, we're going to have a good talk. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the thing with tall dudes, because they got the reach, you got to get in quick and early, like right under their chin. And just give him. I don't know if Andrew's hands games. Yo, we should have a slap. We should have slap boxing at the pool party. (laughs) No, we shouldn't, Maul. (laughs) Because I was slap boxing champ three summers in a row. Right, I'm ready to see if I still got it. That's not happening, Maul. <laughs> that's not going to Slap boxing is dope, though. Especially Maul, in front Maul, of girls. Maul went from, we should not have the phones there, so it's all this positive conversation. And we can yeah, but you have a slap. Yeah. Yo, let's slap box. Yeah, you have a slap box. Nobody can record it. Nobody can world start. You know what I mean? Just if keep it in think, the backyard. You think someone's getting smacked in front of a bunch of chicks and just do you think, eating that? Do you think <laughs> get, your hand, get your hand game up. Slap boxing at, the, at my mansion. Yo, remember how 97 <laughs> used to do that? that was, was you up there? Smack that, fest. That was my idea. Wait, your idea was So you want to shoot down my idea, but you had the idea to have people come up to Hot 97 that, and slap each that other. That was when I was young and I didn't live in a mansion. That was great. That was legendary radio shit, by the way. Smackfest was great. Legendary For radio shit. For those that, that didn't grow up in New York, YouTube Smackfest. It's hilarious. That was legendary. That's how you know something is wrong with my brain. No, that was great. I think that was a great idea. I think they should do that think, now with people how, that got Twitter beefs. They, they got a that. lawsuit. That would be great, by the way. They just got a, I think they got sued for that Wait, can shit you, or almost. Can you, what was the pitch? Can you walk me through when you walked into the office and was like, yo, I got an idea? I'm not doing Take this. it from there. I'm not taking anything from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Take me yo, from there. Yo, yo. I'm not taking so, anything from anywhere. I'm not, I'm not so we're going to put one guy over here I'm, and then one guy over here. I'm mad you're even talking to the and chief then we're like gonna this. And we're going to say go. Speaking of, beef, the chief. speaking of beef, do y'all want to close with uh, this this Twitter beef that was entertaining for two seconds today? Oh, that uh, I, I feel hear, like we have to. I feel like we have that to. That I hear about. started over a rap debate? I think because of everyday, uh, everyday struggle. Is what started it. They Seriously? were debating about something on Everyday Struggle. Really? No, but we're gonna say it was. Oh, okay, I'm rolling. It sounds good. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Joe and Ack then turned into uh, Stone Marley. I I know Stone. I don't know the other gentleman. Uh, Ski, I believe his name was. Yeah. So the backstory was they got into an, an altercation via the internet. Stone was not having it. So Stone then got in an Uber with his man's. I'm not sure if it was an Uber pool or a regular Uber or an XL. Oh, Chef Boy, First of all, getting in the Uber <laughs> pool to go address some beef might be the craziest <laughs> shit ever. You with three other niggas in the car, you the only one that's and, going to handle some and, beef? And still don't stop at Chef Jordan Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Drop that this nigga off. Ubered <laughs> to go fight a total stranger and still ain't dropped that Fetty off. Yo, Stone, you a G, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he keeping it yeah, all the yeah, way around. Stone's the man. Friend of the show, man. Yeah, he definitely so, friend of the show for that Stone shit. Stone pulls up. And Ski does not seem to want to come outside of his house, according to Stone's timeline. Mm. And then Stone went on to then question his membership to an alleged gang because he did not want the physical altercation. Mm. Mm. If your if your if your affiliation to a gang is ever in question, it's definitely when somebody shows up for a one on one. That's when niggas like, yo, you ain't really no gang man. You, you show up to my one-on-one. door for a one on one. Yeah, dogs. Why, man? What do you mean, why? What's the problem? You're going to lose. Mm-hmm. They, they teach you that very early on in life, not to show up to someone else's door. But if you, you know, he didn't just pop up. He said he was going. I got shit. I'm in my home. Yeah, but he said <laughs> he was so going. You are going, going everybody to lose is going. Like, if hey. you show up to my door for, any, for an unexpected visit, <laughs> it will not bode well for you. 
Yeah, that usually doesn't. Is this, well. is this a threat for the pool party, or are you just no, in no, 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 no. <laughs> See, Rory, you don't know. See, Rory just met me, mm-hmm. so he didn't wasn't at the pool party when I told homeboy to stop conducting himself that way, and then I had to hop over the fucking balcony. <laughs> that was before I broke my foot and landed like a fucking cat, and damn, they had to choke money up in that fucking pool. Yeah. Spanish dude, whatever he, whatever his name was. Spanish no, that man. Won't, Spanish that, man, that, you won't be at this yeah, one. No, that won't be He's happening. Not a, not that a won't be happening. Show. I'm no. not catching a case at this pool party. It's gonna be real easy breezy for me. We got sleepers. Uh, yeah, we do. I think. Do I have yeah. a sleeper? You have the ox cord, I believe. Yeah, but let me see if I have a sleeper. I don't know if I have a sleeper. All right, let me see. Da, 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 da. Oh, you know what? I'm. Let me go. Uh, that Katrina song. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is old, and Rory has been playing shit off of this shit for quite some time. Oh, the. Uh Okay, trying to album. Yeah, that album is fire. Which album I'm is this? I'm trying to tell you that. Uh, you that know, album is all the way When I played it fire. as a sleeper on this podcast. Yep. What album is this? Uh, I'm about to tell you right now, Ma, as soon as I pull up my iTunes. do 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 Ha! Oh, I, damn, I used to be able to hit that note. I, I highly doubt that. Money asked you what the fuck you highly doubt it. Oh yeah. I think I played this exact song too. Oh no, I played the Fonte mm-hmm. song. Yeah, you yeah, played yeah, the Fonte yeah. song. Yeah, Craig David killed this. K Trinata featuring Craig David. This is off the ninety nine point nine percent album. It's an older album, but it's great. It's a great album. It's electronic music. This is probably the slowest joint on there. Don't worry about the tag, go and throw it in the back, cause I got it good. You're the best I ever had, baby, you know that you're bad and I got it good I'm certain that you're worth it, you deserve it, girl Don't worry about the tag, go and throw it in the back, cause I got it do you remember when we started? Remember me and you creeping around late at night, yeah Yeah, you held me down when I had nothing And that's the reason I was for you now that I can My hand meets your hand, our love isn't plastic But here's my credit card, not gonna max it The fact is, it's no stress, baby, I got this Treat you like the queen in Buckingham Palace, yeah Rory hating on my fucking ad lib. Don't worry about it. beat is hard though. See, he know the beat is hard too. On my watch, I don't clock the time Cause when it comes to me and you, girl, our time is priceless There's no need for hesitation when you're swiping I wanna show appreciation, so I buy it Buy it, go try it Girl, yeah, I'm letting like it go to the hook, sorry to say that you're cool with Nikes The type that's quite rare One of a kind and do anything I can to please my highness, yeah Don't worry about the tag, go and throw it in the back Cause I got it good are y'all telling girls that you, they're the best you ever had? How many times have y'all pulled that one out? That they're the best I've ever had? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I ever have. I don't think I've ever said that either. Uh, what? You're the best I ever had? <laughs> y'all, you, you, y'all have never told a girl that? I don't think so. Y'all are fucking not living life, bro. I don't Wait, need to do You gotta though. get that off. If I, the if best I've never I've needed to get it off. Had. Get it off. After, after I've had it, why would I But wait, are lie? you saying it like <laughs> and believing it? Or are you just saying like, say it, period? Like, just no, lie. No, if I'm saying it at that point, that is the best I've had. And how many times have you said that? Who's counting? <laughs> no, nah, I thought niggas go to is more so to, yo, I feel like I've known you forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, if you say yo. that having <laughs> sex, that's crazy. No, no, that's I before. feel that's like, you just threw the sex I in the I feel like <laughs> I've known you nah, forever. That's what? The, that's the first night y'all meet. Nah, our chemistry crazy. Yeah, like, this is weird. It's like, I don't usually feel this type of way. Guy. I might be the alchemistry is crazy guy. 
I'm definitely that guy. I got that off. Before. I'm you know what's funny? That Who guy. do you have chemistry with? <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> name dick, one. Dickhead. Who do you have? <laughs> name one. Name one, oh, one person. Yeah, you gonna stop making it? Yo, <laughs> name one. Is hey, yo, wild. Joe. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna let you get that off this episode, but next week <laughs> I'm letting you know now. Right, we not doing that. Right, I'm, I'm letting you get that off right, this week. Bad, but next week bad. we ain't doing that. Though. I'm letting you know that right now. I'm chilling. All right, cool. God damn it. To play a sleeper. I'm going. I want one of BJ ass though. Honestly, that's just art. I got you. Even if I, I don't wear it, I'm still. I give it to my kid. Um, Trey feel like he fucking dad hat man now. All of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going super barefoot just because the weather is going to be 88 degrees tomorrow. And this is the type of shit. Alex, I'll go with duh for 500, Alex. Uh, You've been going barefoot since it was yeah, 30 Rory. degrees outside, Rory. Yeah, no, this is the same sleeper true. you always play. Right. That's untrue. <laughs> same vibe. Yeah, turn totally it up. Untrue. Just turn it up, bro. Uh, Van Jess, touch the floor. Produced by L.A. Reed. L.A. killed this shit. I think Rory got a cousin who voices like this. I've been chilling on this these type of records as of late. It's just gonna be 88 degrees tomorrow. <laughs> I need to hear all this at the pool party. We're gonna hear all this at the pool party. <laughs> Cause I got the ox score. Chris ain't looked at that camera in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't even on. That shit ain't even on. They ain't even taping nothing. I've been searching for a minute. Me too, Ma. For someone to draw me in so easily. Mm. Take me victim, you're a menace. Uh -uh. And once you do, just know that you can never say right. Tick tock, I'm ready to drop. Don't stop, I'm ready to pop. Here's the message, now it's up to you to send it. I want to see Rory's dance moves to this, these type of songs. Is there gonna be a dance floor at the pool party? You know Irish Nasty is doing some wild <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo, you know why I love and hate that? I'm gonna get 50 million tweets tomorrow and my mentions but saying tell, Irish but wait, Nasty. Wait, tell the truth, you're not Irish Nasty? Damn. I'm not answering that. <laughs> Irish that's, Nasty that's is worse gonna than have 20 hits from thousand Twitter. moves. <laughs> Irish Nasty <laughs> Listen Irish Nasty Is definitely in your name now Whether you like it or not He has all the moves Yeah Irish Nasty <laughs> Damn <laughs> Maul don't end this With some fucking Hardcore Toronto hip hop man Hey I got some shit For y'all niggas son. It's gonna New make you Wanna go freestyle. Right, I'm going It's gonna outside. make you Wanna go buy a brick and Bust that shit It ain't gonna make me Wanna freestyle That's for sure Not with the rates These streaming services Are handing out these days <laughs> I'm gonna play Uh Dude by the name of uh, Che E. Crew From Boston, huh? I don't know what <laughs> He, he ran up on me from. at the game <laughs> I a, said I had to play the record a demo in a bag <laughs> I honestly don't know where he's from I bet <laughs> But this is off his project called uh, he's, he's from the Boston Garden <laughs> Yeah, word He's from the Wizard <laughs> <laughs> this, what, Y'all having fun? Y'all having fun? Cool yeah, let me get my shit on, He's from the Wizards? <laughs> you you, you, may, you, you, may, know him, you <laughs> may know him as Brandon what, Jennings. <laughs> what if he was on the Wizards? Some of them niggas be spitting. Nah, this is nah, he's, he's, he's kind of like, it's R&B. All right, let's see. It's off this project called Berries. It's called uh, 2 AM. I love all records titled A Time in the AM. Amani think everybody stole that from him. Sorry, Amani. <laughs> This project is dope. I've been listening to it all week. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm that guy. As soon as I hear a noise I like, yeah, <laughs> this is going good. Yeah, this project's hot. Ten seconds in, three noises I like. I'm buying it. I've been on the road with you. Oh yeah. So I'm trying to hit the road with you. I'm all tricked Baby, us. I just wanna play my role with you. Can I make it all with you? Yeah, I just wanna make up. No more messing up your makeup. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Tell me how you feeling, baby. Word. I'ma keep it real and tell you that you are like I'm catching all these feelings lately. 2016 and it's time to shoot my shot. I ain't even trying to mm. know. 
is always running on the side of your nose Fighting every time that I be driving you home All the sides gotta go, you got guys, I got homes Hey, you know that, give me nothing, man, who gon' control that I was never one to go and hold This shit hard, but he's still about to get these jokes <laughs> He still sound like Rice and Tiller Rice and Tiller God, I think it's time for me and you Ain't nobody do it like I do Screwing like a screw And girl, I see what you can do Always at work and you always at school All your friends play, but baby not you Trying to get a grip before you turn to 22 Yeah, you know that I'm the same way That's Che E. Crew, 2 a.m. off his project called Berries. Is the project hard? The project is, listen, I've been listening to this, like, for the last week. That's all I've been listening to. I'm going to check project. this out. That song was really, really good. Yeah, Che E. Crew. That, that sounds like my type of vibe. No, his album, this, this mixtape is crazy. That's, that's your vibes, Chief? You know what this reminds me of, this mixtape? When, uh, when Janae dropped Sail and Soul. Like, how I listened to that. Mm -hmm. That was all I was listening to. Mm -hmm. Man, Janae always some fucking music. Sailing Souls was like <laughs> Incredible. That was the Bible. That shit was crazy. Yeah. I'm not gonna say she owes us music, but I understand what you're saying. Okay. Anything we're missing? Fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, Trump is selling off all the secrets for top dollar. Uh what else is happening? What are you gonna do? Think we covered everything? Yeah. <clears throat> He's on his way to impeachment. <sighs> yeah. Then, we, then the real problem happens. Yeah, yeah. Pence. Uh, so that's cool. We'll be back. Anything happening this weekend? Good Memorial Day weekend uh, soon. I know we about two and a half out. Yeah. Nah, not even. Henny Palooza on Saturday. We're about two weeks out. It's Coney Island. Coney Island on uh, the Saturday. Of Henny Palooza, Coney Island. Sounds like it should be a good time. Yeah, we announced Kid Capri as our headlining DJ. We have one more announcement that we'll make uh, probably towards the end of the week, but it should be good. I'm Any, excited. It's, it's open bar everything, not just Hennessy. When is it Saturday? Where at? May 27th in Coney Island. Tickets. Same spot? Uh, mm -hmm. Same spot. Any day you and Cam want to get me my prices on the Jenga. <laughs> like, this would be fucking awesome, these guys over here. Are you, are you announcing the, the Jenga and Twister no, for the not, pool party? No, I'm not announcing anything just yet. Not okay. yet, but I am excited about D-Nice coming, so we'll see. Oh, uh, one, one more plug. Uh, is Miss Milan going to be there? At, DJ Miss Milan? Uh, no, I don't pool party? It's, it's Mech and uh, D-Nice. So. Unless she does a surprise set. Yeah. I want think. her to do a surprise set. She's great. I bet you do want her to do a surprise wow. set. A oh, few God. surprise sets. Here we go. All right, I'm going to get out of here now. <laughs> oh, what were you saying, Rory? I have one more plug. Uh, Trapping Anonymous, which I put a lot of you guys on that love that podcast. Doing a live podcast at SOBs uh, in June. Tickets are available now at SOBs.com. Bag talk. Speaking of podcasts, there's one particular podcast I'm waiting on to drop. Hadn't dropped yet. Oh, oh I know what you're talking Hadn't about. Hadn't dropped yet. I subscribed. Up. I refreshed I'm, I'm my podcast shit every day. Oh, oh, that didn't happen? It, it didn't nah. drop yet, but... You know what's yeah, funny? Yeah. I would think that would have dropped in our group chat when it yeah. <laughs> You know what's funny? I was just saying that kind of went under the radar if it happened. Like, we didn't nah, talk about it. Didn't it didn't happen yet. She, she getting the streets ready. <laughs> Damn, son. She really letting it sit. Like, yeah, when you got oh. that fire, she making sure the rollout is right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the rollout for a podcast is funny. Listen, what you want niggas to do, man? Yeah, Until I the next time until next week one